Welcome to Coach Hayes Football and the team. That's right. If you're here, that means you want to become a team member, and here's how you do it. Simply join up. There are three tiers. The first tier is the player tier. On this tier, you get to use special emojis as well as you will get member shout outs. The second tier is the coach tier. Now here's where you get prioritized in the comment section on live streams, discounted merchandise. You also will receive access to early videos and private videos. The third tier is the coordinators tier. This tier right here is where it gets really exciting. You get to skip the phone lines and be next automatically. Also, you can join me on the screen, right? During the live streams, you get to come on the screen and talk your talk. Also, we'll be watching some games together. So you'll get specialized and private links in order to watch the games with coach live. Just a quick note, the higher the tier, you also get the perks that go below it. That's really exciting. So not only that you get the perks for that tier, but you get the ones that follow underneath as well. So don't hesitate. Go ahead, hit that join button, become part of the team with Coach Hayes, and become a player, coach, or coordinator. And I'm telling you, we're going to have a great time this season. What's up, what's up, what's up, Kane Nation? We back in the building, man. We just jumped off of Hayes Street, over 800 people in the building. Appreciate it, man. That was big time right there. We got a lot going on. We're going to talk about some stuff here about these Miami Hurricanes, what they got going on. Some people departing, maybe some people coming in. We're going to check it out, but let me know everything looks good, sounds good in the chat. I know the producer, LMV, already in the building. Look, God, dog, boy, she's so, ah. Come on, LNV, talk to you, boy. She already done popped that thing up in the chat, the producer, man. Y'all got, let's give a round of applause to LNV, man. <laughs> also, she has also put the instructions down there. If you'd like to become a member like you saw on there, make sure you go ahead and do so. Hit the join button if you are a Apple user, iPhone user. Make sure you go through your Safari browser or whatever browser you use. Because Apple and Google got beef. So make sure you go ahead and go that way. And it definitely log right on. Also, we've added since that, that little promo prior to, we've added a Discord. So if you want to be part of the Discord, you can join for free. Cost you nothing. Uh, it's just general stuff. Nothing major, to be honest. But the locker room is where it's really happening, right? The team. And we meet in the team locker room. And we have crazy discussions till about 4 in the morning for some odd reason. People be snoring, falling asleep, including myself. Because we have a good time in the NASA uh, in the building, DPB in the building. I ain't seen cool from the crib, man. I'm worried about my dog. Got to find him. LNV, of course. Lady Ray and a, a whole bunch of Shauna Boo. Look at that. Shauna Boo be in the building as well. So let me do a couple of shout outs here. P Lo, shout out to the best channel on YouTube, Coach Hayes Football. I appreciate it, man. Um, We'll definitely talk about this wild country, Kane 81. What up, Coach Hayes? I'm wondering who else is leaving the portal. We'll talk about it. And we're going to talk about. Uh, my man, Street and Football Ville, they put a thing out, and it's becoming an uproar on Twitter and Twitter spaces and all the other stuff, man. So I don't know what, what else is going on. Uh, anyway, uh, huh. nope. To Cyrus Moss was on the team, but y'all, y'all, but y'all are tough on these players, boy. J Love, I'm hot. I'm hot. I'm hot. I definitely need you to call in, J Love. I need that smoke. I need all the smoke you're going to give me tonight. I need it. So let's make it happen, man. All right. Let me see what else we got going on in here, man. Hey, like DP say, man, hit that like, share, and subscribe. Also, make sure you go check out DP. He got a channel rocking. Man, got some great information on there about sports and everything else. I love it. Accurate. What's up with you, man? What up, coach in the chat? Octavia is the real spill for the $5. Before you start your show, the last two film studies were epic. Thank you, man. We've been dropping the, two, the class of 2025 
WREs, which stand for Watch, React, and Evaluate. So we look at the top talent across the nation, and uh, we definitely make it happen. So go check those out as well. Just dropped one a couple hours ago, uh, right before we got on Hayes Street, uh, of a young man named uh, Kalik Lockett. I had to think of his name. Kalik Lockett, a wide receiver. Hasn't picked a school just yet, but I think he's down to like three or four. Texas, Florida State, LSU, if I'm not mistaken. All right. Kane's talk. What's up, Coach Hayes? What's up with you, man? There you go. NASA. What's good, Coach Hayes? We in the building. We in the building. All right. All right. So let's go ahead and get into this thing, man. It was very interesting. It popped up on, on my feed. And I saw uh, it was an interesting stat, per se, really. And if you guys saw the thumbnail, uh, it says we lost the top four recruits. And really, it's the class of 2022, Coach Mario Cristobal's very first year. And we lost his, his uh, lead us up there for a second, give you some love. And we lost uh, four the top four recruits in that class, which was uh, Cyrus Moss, who was the high, highly ranked, Nigel Lee Kelly, uh, Chris Graves, and Jaleel Skinner. Out of those four, I hate to see any of them go. But the one that shocked me and surprised me the most was the Nigel E. Kelly. Cyrus Moss, unfortunately, I think weight was an issue um, and him having a, uh, the opportunity to get on the football field and could never really just gain the weight to play at that particular level. And that's what's tough. Um, him not being able to gain that weight and play at that level. He came in like 215-ish and never really gained any significant weight to play at that level. Angel, what's up with you, man? Um, And so that was interesting. Chris Graves never really got a chance. He also was a, a young man that kind of saw him kind of going out the door, unfortunately, right? I don't like to pick on players. I know for some reason, I don't know why fan bases love these kids today and hate them tomorrow. I don't have, I don't understand why we dog a kid out for leaving or, 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 or being pushed out the door in the same breath. I, I have no idea why fan bases do this. It shocks me beyond belief, but I guess because they can hide behind their computer screen and be whoever they want to be, they just do it. You know, if a kid decides to go somewhere else, especially he's not getting plenty of time, this, that, and the third, guys, let them go. Wish them, wish them well and let it be what it is. All right? And then also, Jaleel Skinner was another one. Highly uh, recruited guy. We flipped him from Alabama, right? Coach Cristobal comes in, flips him out of IMG from going to Alabama to Miami. He got some playing time, but he never could, I think, gain the right weight. And I think that was big. We all know Coach Cristobal is about the grind. It's about being physical. And you could be as physical as you want to be, but if you don't have the weight behind it, it is what it is. Um, <laughs> and I'll just say it like this. You could run a Geo Metro into a Mack truck and you wanted to win as hard as you can. That Geo Metro ain't going to make it. It's just what it is. And that's just what it is. It's all physics at that point. And so those guys never really pushed on. Cyrus Moss, if I'm not mistaken, has not landed anywhere. Jalil Skinner, Skinner, excuse me, has landed at Louisville and Chris Graves at Ole Miss. Uh, and again, Nigel e. Kelly just entered and he won't have a landing spot until the portal opens. So it'll be interesting to find out where he lands. Um, and that one shocked me. I'll just talk about the Jaleel, I'm sorry, the Nigel e. Kelly for a second. I know his mom, uh, he's from Dillard, from South Florida. Uh, I actually was there when Street and them interviewed him. I was in Miami at the time when Street interviewed him, you know, on this podcast and so forth. And his mom was all in on Miami. I mean, she would participate in a lot of things. She was very, uh, she very instrumental in the recruiting process. And that one really shocked me. Uh, you let me know in the chat if you feel the same, you feel different, whatever. Now, I know he has some injuries or whatever, but still injuries don't necessarily mean you get kicked out the door. I'm not, And I'm not saying we Miami kicked him out the door or he just decided to leave. I don't know. Um, but I, I'm still shocked that he entered the portal. Uh, I remember Streetham also did an event down there for one of the games. She was present at that event. 
So she, she was very, you know, a part of the Miami Hurricane, not just the recruiting process with her son, but she also was a part of the fan base. She was in the Twitter spaces. She'd be on the, the podcast and all of that kind of stuff. So really shocked to see that, man. And, uh, you know, shout out to the Kelly family and wish them well. Shout out to the Moss family, wish them well. Skinner family, as well as the Graves family, wish them nothing but the best. And, uh, you know, we still be following them, man, because they were a cane. And that's what it is. So 862-799-9956. I'm very interested to hear and to see what you guys think about that. Because J-Love T said he hot. And we losing some guys. We losing some guys. Now, will we pick some people up? I don't know. We saw Henry Parrish jump into the portal. Uh, we talked about that before. And I think there'll be some more. I think there'll be some more people jumping in the portal as well. Who that will be, I don't know. Now, uh, Street and I'm actually in a space right now. We got 187 people in the building. 187 was the murder was the case that you gave me. So I appreciate 187 people in the building. But they're in a space right now talking about a lot of things. There's been a lot, and I'll just kind of talk about Street. Y'all know we do a show together, got a good relationship, so forth and so on. And he put up, I guess, this list about guys transferring. And Nigel Lee Kelly was on that list, if I'm not mistaken. Um, Ja'Curry Brown was on that list, and quite a few others. And I don't, I'm still, maybe you guys can call in and help me out a little bit, but y'all jumping on the phone line over there, but like I'm fishing, but um, you guys can help me out. I, I don't, I don't understand what the uproar is. Cause you put out a list of guys you think that, that are leaving. I, I'm, I'm a little lost. Uh, I didn't really get a chance to talk the street in depth about it. We did talk about it a little bit at the end of the show. And I know I caught him off guard with the question because we weren't, did, we didn't even mention that talking about the show. And so he kind of gave some insight. There are some other guys that have made spaces about it. And again, I don't pick a side street. No, if I think it's some BS, I call him on it. If I think it's legit, I call him on it, whatever. It's just my opinion. But I just from looking at the surface level of this deal, I don't understand what the big deal is. Maybe I'm missing something here. Maybe I'm missing a detail. Maybe I'm missing something that was put out, but I don't know. But I got, Quite a few callers in here. You know, I haven't really done the two-minute deal in a while because the caller's been a little low, slow time. But if it starts backing up, I will put the two-minute time on just so we can make sure we get everybody through. Um, And we'll see what the case is. Let me go through a little bit here. Got E. Brown in the building. Appreciate it. Um, and I know, of course, Ja'Curry Brown is a hot button. Um topic you know when it comes to different things right here jb jacurry brown shana boo's talking about is a good quarterback he just doesn't practice well so how can he be number two if he doesn't show it in practice that's a fair assessment that's a fair assessment um i think shana boo what i will say to that and i'm not at the practices i'm just outside looking in is i think at the start of the spring you lost your job, per se, just talking about the depth chart. Day one, and I may be wrong, but from my understanding, I believe it was not just Footballville, but other outlets were reporting this, that he was at the third string. So day one, Cam Ward pops up. He's one. I think I get that. That makes sense to me. I understand it. He has a body of work at the Power 5 level. Cool. Number two was Reese Poffenbarger, a body of work, but at the group of five level, right? Or D2 level. I'm not sure what level it was. I think it was D2. All Benny's D2 maybe. However, it wasn't that level. And then he was, I heard, splitting reps on day one. I'm talking about day one of spring practice. He was splitting reps with Emory Williams at the third spot. And I think just on the outside looking in, I just played for played Rutgers. Cool. But a practice hasn't even begun, and I've already, I'm already splitting third reps. So I'm like, what, 3A, 3B on this deal. So basically three and four. I mean, we could call it 3A, 3B. Somebody, 
Even if I'm splitting third rep, somebody still is going to go first. Now, I don't know if he was first or Emory was first, but I think he was third because Emory wasn't clear the very first practice, if I got that correct. And I think that's the issue. And now we're hearing that he's down to four. Um, and so in splitting out reps with Judd Anderson. And I think that's the issue between uh, people on the internet, you know, and we could definitely dive into it. we got a couple of people here on the line. If you are a member, you do get a chance to skip the, the phone line and you become next available when you call in. We're going to start this thing off with Daryl Page. Oh, I forgot. Man. Coach got that cane juice in his biting. Hold on. God. Dang. That thing biting for real. Anyway, calm down, killer. DP, what's up with you, baby? What it do, my G? What it do? What it do, Coach Hayes? I'm just cooling, man. I'm chilling, yeah, man. Yeah, man. Unfortunately, we done lost a few canes, my dog. Yeah, so here's the question now. I want to ask you this question, if you don't mind, because I kind of did get off the topic. Why? Why? These are the top four of the class of 24. What's happening at the Hex Center, Green Tree Field, or whatever, that the top four of the class of 2022 have decided to depart the building? I mean, just like getting recruited over a bit, dog. What you mean? Talk to me. I feel like they got getting recruited over. You got Jaleel Skinner when it comes to the tight end position. Mario Cristobal want a certain kind of tight end. You want to be able to block. We got Arroyo. We got William, We got Riley Williams. We got Jackson Carver. And then you got Elijah Lawson. All these guys supposedly can block. You feel me? So I guess. He was a uh, NBA guy. I forgot about Cam McCorvey, the old man with the gray hair. My bad. I forgot about him. So no, and so then no. with the defensive end position, honestly, I feel like Najee Lee could have stayed. I don't, I don't, I feel like that says something about him as a player, but I don't want to bash the young man or nothing like that. Only thing is, like, you, he could have competed. Like, I don't see no reason why he couldn't go in there and compete if he was 100% healthy. You see, it wasn't no guarantee that those guys was going to beat you out for you. Spot. Yeah, because I thought when Nigel Lee played, he played well. Was it great? Maybe not so much because he was young, right? But I thought he yeah. played well. I thought he contributed to wins on this team. And he he he, he was a, a contributor to the defense. And so I, that, that's why I say I'm a little shocked about him because he did play significantly, in my opinion, until he got hurt. Um, and, and remember when I say contribute, I'm not talking just stats. A lot of people go look at stats and think that's the end all be all, but it's not necessarily true. I always tell people, sometimes you can make the play without making the tackle. Sometimes you can make a play and it's not stat worthy. There's not a column for what you did, but you made the play, right? You didn't make the tackle. You didn't get the stat for it, but you made the play. And I thought that's, I think that's interesting. Well, well I will say Look at the um defensive the end room for the most part. We got Jada Wayne. They don't they put in um Malik Bryant giving him reps at the D end. You got Elijah Austin, he done came in. You got Ruben Bain. Then you got Mesador, he playing in and outside. Then we got the um freshman they've been raving over Cole McConaughey. And then he sometimes they even put um Bobby Pruitt out there on the edge. So we got a lot of edge people. And then they, um, when I was there at the practice facility, I seen Romello Hyatt. He was out there, you know, I guess he was on his visit from, mm -hmm. you know, one of the uh, transfer portal recruits that they were looking at. Yeah, I see him down there. He, that's, he a big kid too, you feel me? Yeah. So I, I don't know if he seen that and he felt like he ain't want to, you know, share a lot of reps or whatnot. But if he showing out, you're going to get the majority of the reps. You feel me? But. Yeah. Hey. No, I get it. I mean, I mean you, you got you a say, valid point. Who else you say transfer, coach? Nigel Lee Kelly, Cyrus Moss, Jaleel Skinner, and Chris Graves. Chris Graves, I don't know. I think his father probably got mad once, um, you know, Coach Mario made his comment. So, cause I, I don't know if, you know, Chris Graves really wanted to leave, you feel me? Who, who's, I'm just, you know, speaking off of my – I don't really know nothing. Like I may I be wrong, saying. but wasn't yeah, but but Chris Graves is a he's a Mississippi kid. He's from Mississippi, if I'm not, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, so he could have been homesick too. You feel me? He went back to Ole Miss. Well, not back to Ole Miss, but back to Mississippi, playing for Ole Miss. 
Right, right. So yeah, like I said, I mean, it's, it's interesting, man. I guess my question is, and I'm just again, I'm here posing questions, guys. And I know this is a crazy question, but I'm gonna ask it anyway. So then, why recruit a Jaleel Skinner if if he's not your type of guy? If he's not the type of tight end that you know you want, and he's coming in a little light. I'm not saying not get a tight end, but I'm saying why spend your recruiting efforts on a on a body type like that, and 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 it's not what you really want. You know what I'm saying? Well, well, coach. You know you a coach. You feel me? You know sometimes you feel me. You got you never know what you got till you get it. You feel me? You never know. They could have you know filled out, but they didn't. So right. you had to recruit somebody else that is that did fill out already filled out that you can already put ad weight to. I got you. Even easier, you know. I get it. I get it. Matter of fact, real quick. Lord, he lives, real quick. Go ahead. Go ahead. I just been say needless to say though this this is not saying that none of those guys are bad players. Correct. They meant just you know they they time came to us uh, some talent was creeping on their heels and and some of them had injury history too like Natalie Kelly. So him seeing you know them bringing in more <laughs> defensive linemen, I don't I don't I hope he ain't take that personal, but they need to make sure they have depth just in case somebody else break a shoelace. Correct. And and you know what, real quick to the chat. This is why I love the chat. I call them the fact checkers. Thank you for checking me. You're 100 percent right. Chris Grave is from Fort Myers, and it was Kamari Rogers that was from uh, from Mississippi. Yeah, and he went to Mississippi right. State. Yes, and he went to Mississippi State. Yes. Thank you guys for checking me on that. I appreciate it. Um, but no, you're you're 100 correct. And I, I I understand. I I totally get it. I totally understand. But um. You know, rec- that is part of recruiting, right? You recruit guys, what you see in front of you. And next year, like you say, as we call it, the new toy may come in, and that's what it is, man. But uh, now you're 100% right, DP. But, man, we got quite a few in here, man. It's some hot canes around here, boy. We, we got about 14 on Can the line. I, um, yeah, talk to t- us. Touch on one more thing before I leave you um, about JB, man. All right. Honestly, I would love for JB to stay, man, but it's really the writing on the wall. If he want to play – football and get tape on the field. He got to go somewhere else. I had to say, I would have loved to see him, you know, develop here, but I don't think Mario want to take the time to develop Ja'Cory Brown with game play and game tape, you know, and game experience. I feel like he's trying to get somebody that's going to get him the wins that he know he needs because he know the fan base is going to be on his head and they're going to turn on him if not. So, so he's scared of that and he don't want to take a risk with JB. So here's my question. Cam Ward is here. That we know. Cam Ward is starting. That we know. This year, and again, I don't know Ja'Kari Brown's uh, mindset of playing and so forth. Um, You got Reese Park. My thing is, here's my opinion, and I know I'm kind of all over. I think my opinion is it was snatched from him so quickly that I don't think you had a chance to even compete. I mean, literally, day one, day two, you're already at third string. And third string, we know third string, get boo-boo reps. We know that. And if you're splitting third, you're already getting boo-boo reps at third string. And if you're splitting third string reps, that means you're getting diarrhea reps, dog. You, you're getting some old nasty reps, right? You know, because third yeah. string guys – if you got a 20 minute period and you want to try to run 20 plays, right? 20 minute period, you want to run 20 plays. First string may get 10 plays. Second string get five. Third string, I'm sorry, yeah, five. And the third string may get five. Well, if I got to split that, that's two and a half, two and a half. You see what I'm saying? Like, that's two passes, no though. Two, that you, you barely get any work. You know what I'm saying? So, so it's kind of like, you know, I, I get it. I hear that. But I just think the problem to the outsiders looking in through the window is, well, dang, this is the same dude that took us to the bowl game and played legitimate and played play well, right? Wasn't great, but played well. I think he was 21 for 30 or something like that. 
uh, threw a pick, 185 yards, somewhere around there. I may have the numbers off by a little bit, but it wasn't a, 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 a horrific performance. It wasn't all-American performance. But for a guy that never took a snap all season and goes in and plays the whole game, I think it was a decent performance. And then now he goes from a decent performance to third string to basically splitting reps with the other backup and being put behind two transfers. So I think that's the issue right there from the outside looking at just looking at it from a surface level. Again, we don't know what's in the meeting rooms. We don't know what's being said, so forth, and, and this, that, and other. But let me push on, DP, man. I appreciate you, brother. Yes, sir. It's all about the you, man. It's all oh. love, Coach Hayes. Appreciate it, man. It's all about the you, baby. Appreciate it, up. All right, we're going yes, to. Sir. All right, we're going to our next member up in here, man. Appreciate y'all calling. And we got E. Brown up in here. <laughs> oh, I got a new word. Shout out to Sheila from Colorado. The grumudgeoned, loquacious, bloviating E. Brown in the building. Y'all clap it up for E. Brown. All right, that's enough clapping. E. Brown, what's up? What's up, Coach? I'm good, man. How you feeling, man? I'm feeling good, man. I, I just want to give my soliloquy before so I can get everybody hot and bu buzzing because I'm going to come straight to the point. Talk to us. Okay. Straight to the point with it is, is that I saw the Temple game last year that the final game in, in, in the, uh, uh, you know, during the end of the season. And um, I mean, you said that he played decent. He was horrible. You talking about, okay? you talking about Rutgers? Like you talking about the Rutgers game? The Rutgers game. Okay. He was horrible. The kid was horrible, all right? Uh, all through practice, all through last year, he was horrible. The games he participated in when he played uh, the year before, he was horrible, okay? Now, let's, uh, I mean, I'm just going to go straight to the point, all right? So he's, he, 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 was, he was a fourth-string quarterback going into each year that he's been here, all right? So every year we're we, we talking about his height, his speed, and the possibilities with it. It hasn't come to fruition. Okay, it hasn't come to fruition. That's what happened with those those guys who left. You got Skinner, you got Moss. Skinner and Moss came in with with and we all knew it. When they came in, they had they had issues. The issues were that they were small. They were small to compete in a power five at a power five um, uh, you know, with a power five uh, football team. They were they were phenomenal phenomenal in, in high school. They were they were they 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 had plateaued in high school, but when you get in you get into this you come you get to this level, when you play teams that have guys who are six foot two, one hundred and ninety five pounds, who can equal your weight or surpass your weight and your speed, you got to come you got to you you got to come to the forefront, and you got to admit it those guys did not come to the forefront. I'm not saying that they are they are horrible they are scrubs or I didn't go that I didn't go that deep, but what I want to do want to say is is that they in three years in three years they did not they did not develop and get to the point to where you can consider them power five uh, program type players. It's just like it's just like uh, you 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 have kids that are come in and and you see the growth you see the growth from from the start like uh, the kid uh, Bain we. We knew instantaneously that Bain was going to be productive, instantaneously. And we've seen, we saw Cyrus Moss out on the football field. We even saw Cyrus Moss in some of the, in some of the, um, the spring game. The kid was just too small. He was being, he was being pushed all over the place. He was not going to let. He was not going to get on the field. Najee Kelly, Najee Kelly is injury prone. He was injury prone. Uh, he didn't take this thing seriously. Okay. That's that's my thought. He didn't take it seriously, and 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 now he's out. He's out because they brought in more power five based players who are hungry. And and and, and like I said a couple of years ago, we're looking for dogs, man. Out of those four guys who left, name me which one of those four guys that you consider. Oh, that's a dog. Then they they were not. Skinner got all the opportunities in the world to come out and play football. But when he got on the football field, he was dropping passes. <clears throat> he was not doing. He wasn't blocking. He was not performing at the par. 
Let's stop playing all these. Let's stop playing tiddlywinks with these four guys. Let's stop playing tiddlywinks with these with, with with these coaches. Let's stop playing tiddlywinks because I tell you the truth, I'm sick and tired of having guys like Skinner and and Moss on the football field trying to compete with teams like Clemson and Alabama and Georgia. Those guys would have. Those guys cannot, cannot, and will not compete with the Florida State, Clemson's, Alabama, and Ohio State type football players. They will not, they cannot compete with them. Let's call it like it is. Let's stop all this crap about racism and, and all that other crap that you're talking about. Mario Cristobal had a black quarterback before he came here at Oregon. He had a black quarterback. All right. You got you you, you the, the kid skin the the kid Jacory Brown uh, he has the last name he has the last name Brown but the kid has not gotten to the point where you can put him on the football field and feel confident enough that he's going to produce and and bring out wins and have this team competing for a national championship I'm not talking about winning ten games he cannot he cannot put this team on the football field. And we feel confident enough that we'll compete for the national championship. And if there's anybody out there who thinks that he's, he's a good enough quarterback to, to, to bring us to the forefront to compete nationally against the Ohio State, the Alabamas, the Georgias, if you think that he's good enough to do that, please get on the line and tell me exactly what you see that you think that that kid is good enough for, to, to compete, had his University of Miami football team competing for a national championship. That's my soliloquy. You, you That's fin- my opening statement. You finished? I'm finished, Blue Okay. Here's what I have for you. E. Brown, you are the <laughs> recipient of me playing the world's smallest violin for you. This for you, E. Brown, is the world's smallest violin, and this for you, my brother. Nobody well, want to hear that. But, Nobody want to hear that bull crap you talking about. Get that crap out of here, man. Let me tell you something, E. Brown, and I'm tired of it. And I just woke up. You come on here. You talk about the kids are horrible. You talk about all this stuff. And the problem is y'all try to make the exception the rule. Y'all want every one thing about a football team. Everybody is not going to be the exception. There are very few elite players on teams. What do I mean? You're usually going to have two, maybe three guys who are real elite game changers, difference makers. That's the difference. That's the difference right there. And what you guys are missing what you guys are missing is that you still got to have serviceable players on your football team. Here's what I will say, and I know this story is about the top four guys that left, but here's what I'm going to say about Ja'Curry Brown. I'm going to say this, and I'll be done with it. There is a reason you recruit certain players. Every player doesn't work out. I get that. I understand that. I, I, I totally understand that. But as a coach, and I'm not saying my, well, I have to say Miami hasn't done this. As a coach, you must give a young man the proper tools to succeed. You can't give a kid a screwdriver and tell him to hammer a nail. Eventually, he can hammer it with the screwdriver, but it's not the proper tool. I say that to say this. I believe, my opinion, is Ja'Cory Brown has never been given the proper tool. What is his proper tool? His skill set. His skill set is not the same skill set as Tyler Van Dyke used to be. I think that they give him the same playbook that you gave Tyler Van Dyke. That would be the equivalent to giving the same playbook to Eli, I mean, to Peyton Manning that you gave LaMarcus Joyner or Michael Vick. Their skill sets are different. 
We have not seen Ja'Cory do rollouts. We have not seen Ja'Cory. Forget the RPO. That's easy work. Easy work. We're talking about his, his gift, yes, is his legs. I'm not saying he should be a starter. I'm not saying that he, but what I am saying is that we have not given him all of the proper tools and opportunity with those tools to show what he had. There is a reason. Hold on, hear me out. There is a reason this young man was recruited. There's also a reason Mario Cristobal, when he got here, continued to recruit him. He didn't have to. He didn't have to recruit him. There is yeah. a reason. Hold on. No. There is a reason he beat Miami Northwestern when they came up there. Because that was high school. I get it. But you go to college based on what you did at high school. All I'm telling you is you have to give guys the tools, the proper tools to do the proper job. Now, if I give you a hammer to hammer a nail, and you keep missing the nail, then now I can make a decision. Now I can make a decision. And that's the problem right there. We never get, in my opinion, we have not given him the opportunity through our play calling. And I'm going to give you a perfect example to maximize his talent. His talent may not be throwing the 10 yard out. You have to do that sometime. But we just played North Carolina State last year. You remember that game, E. Brown? You remember that game? I remember I remember the game. You listen, you, you make a good barrister. I know, but hold on. Hold on, but, but before I barrister on, I want to make a, another point. Do you remember the North Carolina State game? Do you remember the quarterback they had? Yes. Do you also remember the other quarterback they had in that yes. game? The kid who was hurt. I think it was hurt. Wasn't he hurt? No, he, he transferred. Nope, he transferred. Okay. When you go look at that game, right? Hold on. I want to make sure I pull this up correctly. When you go look at this game, You had MJ Morris was 11 for 21, 123 yards, one touchdown, one interception. They brought in another quarterback in Brennan Armstrong. Remember Brennan Armstrong? Wasn't he the quarterback in Virginia, if I'm not mistaken? I think he was the Virginia quarterback. Yeah, he was at Virginia, yeah. He didn't throw one pass. He had eight carries for 51 yards. Two different skill sets. Now, they did that with Ja'Curry his first year. But they burned his red shirt, on, in my opinion, like Bethune cook me handed the ball off twice in Bethune cook me game. You're burning the red shirt. That's foolishness. What I'm saying is Brennan Armstrong did not do the same thing MJ Morris did at North Carolina State. Because they have different skill sets. Can Again, I, can, I, can I make can I can no because I'm, uh, I'm, I'm still I'm still solilo I'm still soliloquying. So let me soliloquy. Well, you, you, you barrister <laughs> real well right now. All I'm saying, right I appreciate it. Barrister. You can call me barrister. And I got to get these other callers on. What I'm going to tell you is, I'm not saying even if you gave him the proper tools, he would be the starter, maybe even the second string. But what I can say to you is when you recruit kids, you recruit kids based on their skill set. You recruit kids based on their skill set. And when they come to your university or your team, you have to find ways to maximize their skill set. And if you don't do that, to me, you are wasting talent. And the reason I say you're wasting talent, I'm again, I'm not saying because you give them those opportunities, they're going to be all American. But the reason I say you're wasting talent, because there was something he did in high school that made you say, I like this guy. And that's all I'm saying. So go ahead and say your last piece, and then, of course, you know you always could close the show out. But I want to get these other callers in. Well, well, well I want to, I want to, I want to rebut by saying 
that, you know, you gave the analogy about the hammer and the nail. If you, if you can't do the hammer and nail, if you can't drive the, the nail in, into whatever you're trying to drive the nail into <coughs> Excuse it, me. Into mm-hmm. it well, damn it, you, oh, I'm sorry. Well, darn it, you go get your handyman. You get a handyman and you let the handyman do the job that you can't do. I the agree. Thing is this. The, other, the, the other thing is, is this, Coach. Mm-hmm. When Mario came in in 2022, his recruiting class was basically was basically a a a, a, a recruiting class that that was um, compiled because of hype. It was a bunch of hype. It was a bunch of hype. It, it included, let's get five stars. We need to get a top recruiting class so that we can get more players in here in the in the in the uh, in the in the succeeding classes. That that's what it was. It was hype. It was hype. It was hype. You you had to hype. You had to go after those players who the hype machine guys like yourself. I mean, no shot at you, Nico. You're a good professional. Thank you. Guys like yourself, or you are hyping up a lot of these kids. These kids who are now leaving this the third year. In the third year, you said it earlier in in the show earlier. You said after the third year, after the third year, a lot of a lot of the kids. It's, it's, that's their time to start showing up and, and contributing to the team. That's correct. But it's, it also works. It also works in the opposite direction. Agree. At the third year, you also find out who's not able to contribute to the team. I agree. They just happen to be. They just happen to be that group who are not capable of contributing to the team. I can agree with it, that. It has nothing to do with it, and so they're not contributing to the team. They 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 couldn't get on the they couldn't get onto the team in year one, year two. And eventually, they 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 sort of write it on the wall. They they, they were not going to get on the team in year three, so they, they decided that. to leave. But okay. if if you were if you were a bane or you were like the uh, the kid who uh, came in from uh, the, the school over in on the west coast over there, the lineman, what's his name? His, his brother played middle linebacker. The, Ma- Maui those, Noah. Those Maui kids, Noah. Ma- those kids came in. Those ca- kids came into the program. They came into the program with the mindset that I'm going to go on to a bad football team and I am going to be the dog and nobody's going to get me off this field until unless I'm injured. And even if I'm injured, I'm going to come out here and play. Not to leave Kelly. I'm still going to come out here and play. All right. You're trying, you're trying to get on to, you're trying to establish yourself on a football team. Where nobody has has come to the forefront yet. Nah, E Brown. Nobody listen. has come to the forefront. E Brown, you know I'm gonna let you close it out because I don't want to lose any callers. And I hear what you're saying, all right, all right, but well, I'm gonna get you some more information okay. anytime. You know that I love you, man, <clears throat> and we'll make it happen. But uh, I, I want you to call in and close the short as always. Yes, sir. All right, brother. Here's what I'll say. I, I hear him talking. I'm coming to you next. Uh, fifty five seventy. Sorry for the wait. Shout out to Drake. Sorry for the wait. But I'm going to say this, and I'm going to show you something, and y'all follow me. Y'all follow me. I bring up North Carolina State one more again. One more. I'm sorry. One more again. One more again. I bring up North Carolina State. Here's what I'm going to tell you. I just watched North Carolina State spring game. CJ Bailey, right there, Shamanad. I forgot their quarterback name, their starting quarterback. I don't know his name and don't necessarily care. They're the enemy. When you watch that game, and if you have not watched it, just go watch the first 10 minutes of it. That's all I'm asking. Go watch the first 10 minutes of it. C.J. Bailey and the other young man, the starting quarterback, C.J. Bailey, don't have the same playbook. Grayson McCall, thank you, accurate. This is why I love the fact checkers. Agree or disagree? I need you to put that in the chat if you saw it. Agree or disagree? Agree that uh, 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 Grayson McCall and C.J. Bailey had the same playbook based on this spring or disagree with me? Agree or disagree in the chat right now? I would appreciate it. You go look at that. Yeah, similar throws, some throws same. But go look at the, the totality of how they played the game. Why? Because they have two different skill sets. Agree with me 
That there are two different, there are two playbooks for those quarterbacks. Or if you disagree with me, that means they have the same playbook for both quarterbacks. And that's all I have to say about that. All right, 5570. Call or talk to us. Give us your name. Where you calling from? What's going on, Coach? Hey, long time. Man, I'm out here driving these trucks. Um, What's up with you, brother? I'm all over the world right now, man. Yeah, all right. Hey, I will. All right, we'll talk about your car. All right. Since everybody talking about your car. All right. What's the quarterback from Tennessee? The uh, two freshmen that won't pretty much take over. Nico, I may jack his last name up, Nico, but I believe it. Nico, yeah. I'm a Leva. Okay, all right, yeah. Well, okay, we got to worry about the last name. Okay, what's the other guy? And it was another guy that played in the bowl game from Kansas State. Uh, two freshmen. That, he was. He looked pretty good also. All three of them had pretty much the um same numbers in the bowl game, the car or whatever. Jacory pretty much threw about three, four touchdowns. Uh, Jacory with well, George dropped one, True. which should have been a touchdown. And then they they I, they called a touchdown back from Restrepo, which was a, a beautiful throw as well. He would have ended up with about three, four touchdown passes, right? That's fair. Okay, mm-hmm. but like you, so um, I, I think it was, I mean, you know, it's you don't really get good and become good with playing time. That's how you develop these players. Not on the practice field. Uh, that's what Barrio fell to realize, man. Every year you're going to get these crab rope water players mm-hmm. and in depth that are letting your goddamn players that's rookies, five star, four star, get out there and let them get the experience. Especially when you already have three, four starters already. Right now you got you got DNs. Which, who your DNs? Bain. You got Magic Door. You got the other guy from Marshall. Okay. You got Wayne that you recruited last year. Now you got Simon. You got a guy, um, I, I can't think of the, the DN right now that's a freshman from Alabama. Uh, you're a you're, you're, um, true freshman right now. They, they raving about him or whatever. But anyway, get those guys to get the little playing time. If you already got your four starters, I mean, what, what you know, it, that's what he's doing. You just you just recruit and yeah you recruit them, but it's like you don't have nothing you don't know what you're doing from mm. there. You ain't give you gotta give these players playing time. And everybody I don't know why I don't know what these people are talking about nowadays. Oh, they need experience. They need man, Alabama University of Miami back in the days, man, you next man up. There was no such thing as no experience. Get out there and play. You know? Mm-hmm. So, I mean they, you got you got to put them out there to play, you know. I mean, hey, I mean, you got to get the kids to play time, man. Other than that, you're gonna be keep on recruiting, put talent on talent on talent on talent. Everybody gonna be leaving out just like you got these four guys on the left. From what I understand, Chris Gray is playing good over there, Ole Miss. Yeah, we'll find out you know, real quick. Playing. Yeah, we'll find out real quick. He's hey, already playing. Yeah, yeah. He's but already I'm, playing. He ain't no point. Yeah. I mean, I don't know about the other guys. They just left this year. I mean, who else? Who else left? I mean, Skinner left this year. Mm-hmm. Nigelique left this year. And who else? Skinner, Skinner, Skinner Nigelique. Skinner, Nigelique, um, Cyrus Moss, and Chris Graves. Oh, Cyrus Moss. Okay, yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, Cyrus Moss, I understand he ain't putting the weight on. But I guarantee you. Skinner going to look like an all-star over there. Why? It's a coach strategy. You got to know how to use your players, man. <coughs> no matter me. what, he could be a mismatch because he can't run route. He might get you out there and block every damn play. But guess what? I can line him out here on this end, and he's going to make a play. I mean, I agree. I'll go back to the Will Mallory days. We ain't had Will Mallory one blocking. We ain't get rid of him. But anyway, anyway, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, all I'm saying is, at the end of the day, when I look at this thing, and we're just talking about players, I, I, even Ja'Cory Brown, whatever the case may be, I get it. I understand. Yeah. I'm not saying that this guy will start. I'm not even saying he will be number two. All I'm saying is, yeah. my question, excuse me, 
Cage was biting y'all. Excuse me. The question is, have we given, and this is not just a question for Ja'Curry Brown. This is anybody. For example, Cyrus Moss. You couldn't give him an opportunity because he just, from a weight perspective, he just couldn't do it. So I get that. Yeah. Right? Jalil Skinner, you gave him opportunities. If 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 blocking was one of your criteria for uh, playing the tight end position and he didn't do that well, okay, I, care, I grasp that. But the quarterback is always a unique position because there's so much that goes into it. And that's all, I, that's all I'm saying. That, that's all I'm really going to say on that. But, man, I appreciate it, man. Yeah, yeah, be yeah. safe on that road, bro. Please be safe on that road, man. Yeah, man, I appreciate it, man. Hey, don't drink the cane juice until yeah. you put that thing in part, baby. All right, bro. Hey, you know what? You, you I don't know why. I mean, Coach Flo, I mean, Flo, he stuck on that nine. He's being rebellious over there. How about nine wins? It's ten wins. It's playoffs a bust this year, man. Ten wins a bust. Say, you could, it's ten years, of, it's ten wins a bust. <clears throat> if you ain't want to go, I mean, you could have kept Jacory and started him, gave him all the experience he needs this year. And we would have won eight games. That's fair. This year. That's fair. That's fair. All right, so bro. We went out and got. Nah, y'all be easy, man. Hey, Hurricane Nation, baby. All day, man. Appreciate you, man. Real quick, right, Muhammad good. Hussein, before I go to the next caller, 1761, coming to you next. Uh, Muhain, Muhain, excuse me. Muhammad Hussein, 1999. Coach, I got a lot to say. Well, whenever you're ready, you call on in. Let me, if you don't mind, let me, let, let me narrow down. I got about. I got about nine people on the chat right now. So if you want to hold tight, you're more than welcome. Or if you want to call in, I get it, man. But appreciate you, man. For man, let's clap it up for the 1999, man. <laughs> clap it up for the 1999. <clears throat> appreciate you, man. Thank you so much for that. All right, going to the next one, 1761. Jay Love, I see you back there. Well, you better have that fire ready, J Love T. 1761. Call or talk to us. Give us your name. Where you calling from? What's your thoughts about the four players hey. leaving? Well, hey, Coach, uh, this is Coach D in Oklahoma. Coach D, what's and, up, baby? Uh, yeah, and I just, you know, you know, uh, I'm not even going to talk about the other kids. You know I'm a JB fan, <laughs> and having done this uh, coaching thing for 54 years, which is might be older than, than you are. Yeah, definitely older than me. Four years, I didn't, see, I didn't see some crazy <laughs> stuff as far as some of the programs that work with to where they want to get rid of kids. Mm -hmm. You know, one, you can always tell a kid that, uh, you know, uh, some help you go somewhere where you can play. But most of these guys, like what I'm seeing here at Miami with JV, we take away your reps, and then they throw you in there, and then the people watching, you know, some of the people watching practice, well, you know, JV overthrowing guys, he's underthrowing guys, and stuff like that. And you don't know how many reps he's getting or not getting. And then, you know, here you are. Now, you also, Coach, can lose your team behind this because people see how loyal he was and he, he came in, did a, cre a very credible job, you know, in, uh, in the Rutgers game. Then, you know, he, you know he, uh, guys look at this and they're like, man, he was loyal. He stuck with us and all of that when he didn't have to. And he makes an interview. Uh, he does a couple of interviews. And the kid says, look, I was told I'm going to play, not, you know, in which, come on, coach, we never tell a kid he's going to play. We just say, you be prepared to play. They said, and even on the, on the uh, color cast, that uh, this kid is, is going to get some snaps. He's going to get some snaps. He doesn't get his snaps, <clears throat> and he's not supposed to say nothing? I mean, you know, come on. You know, that's a human. Uh, I'm sitting there, uh, okay, it's my time to go in. And they, well, you know, we're going to we're gonna go with somebody else or we're going to, uh, you know, uh, throw in, you know, throw in a guy that has lost his job back mm -hmm. in there and he throws the ball or he throws the interception, game over. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, I don't understand that. And that's the way you can lose your team. Because like I said, kids look at this, that could be me. I'm busting my tail every day at practice. And, you know, this is what I get. You know, I get my chance and then, and then you throw me away. Yeah. And then you put me down here on fourth team and letting everybody know it's fourth team. All mm -hmm. the reporters come back and they're like, you know, what's going on? 
Sorry to cut you off, Coach. Go ahead. No, I wouldn't say anything. I was listening to you. I mean, I, I hear you, I, and I know yeah. what you mean coming from that perspective, from a coach's perspective. And like you say, yeah, you don't tell a kid he's going to play because that's that's tough. And I've had to do that before, man. I've played a game where I really thought, and I learned that as a young coach, I thought we were going to mollywop these people. They was, they, they suck. Exactly. And boy, guess what? They came with their A game, and I couldn't get the kid in. And I felt like yep. crap. But at the end of the day, I have to win ball games. I have to do what I feel is best. But, again, being a young coach, making a mistake, hey, man, hey, boy, you're going to play today because we're going to kill it. Man, we went out there. We had penalties, fumbled the ball. And, you know, <laughs> there's a seven-point game. There, yeah, seven-point game against a team you think, you know, you're going to get a run the clock in the second half. You know what I'm saying? And, unfortunately, it exactly. just doesn't always work that way, man. It just doesn't always work that way. And uh, so, yeah, to your point, you're 100% right. As they say in hostage negotiations, don't make promises that you know you can't keep because you just yeah. can't keep them, man. But, no, I appreciate it, man. Coach D, from, from what you say, Al not Alabama, don't tell me, uh, Oklahoma. Oklahoma, baby. Oklahoma, man. All right. So, hey, I, I hear you, man. Let me ask you this. Do you think Ja'Cory Brown will transfer or not? Yes, Coach. Uh, uh, you can get slapped in the face just so many times, Coach, and then you wake up. And uh, I think he can help them. And right now, uh, when you got a, a guy that come in from a school that got beat 49 to nothing in the playoffs, and, uh, you know, and he's automatically second team, and you kicked all the way down to, to fourth team, come on now. Uh, man, he's too good a player to just be sitting. And uh, he can help somebody. He can help some, some good teams win games. But uh, that's all I got to say, Coach. Um, like like you say, I'm hot. So, you know, I'll holler at you now. Take I, care. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. 391 people in the building. That was Coach D from Oklahoma. 391 people in the building. Let's go ahead and get the 400, man. Huh? Go get your uh, wife phone and put it on there, man. Tell her to stop watching Love and Hip Hop for a second and put that thing on Coach A's football. This love in the U. I think we got us something. Love in the U. Huh? That's what I'm talking about. Do you love me? Do you love me? Woo! We might have us something here. We might have us something. Anyway, 1105 coming to you. Caller 1105. Caller, talk to us. Give us your name. Where you calling from? You got two minutes. What's up, coaches? Jamil out of D.C. Jamil, what's up, man? Real um, quick. Hold on. Before you start, I saw somebody. Oh, Jungle Brother, man. Shout out to Jungle Brother. Haven't seen you in a while. Jungle Brother, man. Appreciate you coming through. Smooth, what's up, boy? Anyway, talk to me. What's going on with you? Yeah, man, I think um, I think Jakaya transfer. Um, but I heard a few of the callers before, and I mean, I understand, you know, some of the fans uh, bias to certain players, but contact is always important. Um, I think a lot of players are going to transfer, especially from the twenty-two class. We got to put it in contact. When Mario took the job. He mm -hmm. took the job late, so he's trying to get you trying to get the best class you can get. Like he coming in, he needs some players because he already know a lot of players is going to leave. So that's where the Jaleel Skinners, etc., come in. Okay. So next year, twenty three, that was his first class to go get. I guess quote unquote, like more of Mario guys, right? And okay. the problem anyway is when you have competition on top of competition, which he said from day one, that's the model he wanted to go after. You got to remember he came up under the saving tree. Under that saving tree, usually people play for three years. Their third year, they break out year. The fresh, first, freshman year, they barely play. Sophomore year, may play a little bit, depending on who the player is. Junior year, all American go to the NFL. So that was kinda, that's kind of the, the, the thing he's building here. The problem is, early on in that, in that process, a lot of these dudes ain't going to the league after three years. Some of them is taking four. We've seen it with um, Cam and James. They're doing it. But we got to look at the positions where it's not happening. Now, let's say if Wesley Bustank goes to the league after this year, if he just go crazy and, and Kiko goes to the league, then that's when you would expect that following year, Popo and those guys to go crazy. And then they go to the league. And then Bobby Pruitt and Washington, whoever, right after them, they go to the league. That's what's, what's kind of the thing that's supposed to happen based upon the way he's building the system. But what is happening is some of the players are getting – caught up with a dude who come behind you might be better than you. Like, I don't think Jakari, I don't think Jakari's a bad player. I think he's a good player. 
I just don't think based upon the situation and how it all happened mm-hmm. and his specific skill set, I mm-hmm. don't think that's going to happen here in Miami. I can say that for a fact. Based upon his skill set <clears throat> and how the whole thing happened where he was forcing some games his freshman year, he didn't really do too good. He even said out his mouth he wanted the red shirt last year. He said that right, Coach, am I lying? No, that, 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 that is a fact. I'm listening. So that means he wasn't even expected to play. So that's why I'm not understanding what fans are saying. He ain't been given. You got to give him his opportunity to storm in the game. I'm like, when? He played his freshman year. We seen how that happened. Last year, he registered it, so he, didn't, he wasn't su- supposed to play. So when would the mm. shot head came? Okay, so here's what I'll tell that, you. Real, that's so, the question. Well, no, no. That, 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 well, well I, I agree with the premise of what you're saying. Where I'm going to disagree with you is um, – there are two things that you said. One, when Crystal Ball came in, he kind of got. But here's what I will say. The guys that he got were nationally mm-hmm. recruited guys. We flipped, mm-hmm. we flipped Jalil Skinner from Alabama. Nigel Lee Kelly was highly recruited. Chris Graves and even Cyrus Moss. I understand why they didn't work, but I also yep. want to say we're not talking about four guys that were guys we just had to take because we had to take them. They were also being recruited by other major colleges as well. That's one. The second thing is, yes, you are a thousand percent correct. Jakari went in and said he wanted trans. I mean, uh, not transfer. He wanted to red shirt. And you're right. However, there is a four game rule where you can play in four games and still keep your red shirt. I thought that's correct. The correct. Okay. So, and again. I have some information, and I'll just say this. Because y'all know I'm not a breaking news channel. I don't like to put stuff out there. But I have some information that if the four games permitted him to keep his red shirt, then he would be next. So here's what I'll tell you. For example, let's say uh, it was game two or game three. No, they were. they probably were not going to put him in. But once you got to game four, I mean, I'm sorry, game game eight, you have four games to play without burning your red shirt and plus your bowl game. They don't count your bowl game against you. So really, you got five games. Mm-hmm. After that happened, he still got overlooked in that sense. So just, you know, you, you, you get where I'm coming from? And so I, I, I so, see what you're saying, but I still got disagreements in there. No, no, so no, no, because you asked me, you said when would he you said when would he get a chance to play? I think there were mm-hmm. opportunities for him to play, but he but they did not play him in that they did not play so him. You talking about play. You talking about an ACC play. But who who and what game are saying? So because remember, Emory Williams, you gotta put in context too, coach. He wasn't even practicing with the first team. So usually you're going to go with the person because that's how the red shirt goes. That's why he wanted the red shirt so he can go against the first team defense. But he wasn't getting them reps with that first team offense. And as you know, I heard you mention, you said that there should be multiple playbooks. If coaches, are, if these are the quote-unquote guys that are playing, everything is going to be fixated to their strengths. Now, let's say Jakari didn't read. That wasn't a red shirt year for him. I personally believe it wasn't a red shirt year for him. They would created a playbook form. That's what I hope Dawson would have done. I'm, I'm going to just say any smart coach would have done that. But I think when you register, I played college ball. I registered the year. Mm-hmm. Everything, it's not geared to you. You're like the fill-in player that. to help what's going on. I agree with that. So when would he play, though? So my, when I say when he had played, I'm not, I know there's a four-game rule. So I'm saying if, you, if the rules doesn't come early, if you don't play them early, ACC play, the first up was they went with Emory Williams. We won a game. Now, if you say, hey, they should have pulled Van Dyke a little early or something like that, that's a different conversation. I can agree but with once, that. Mm-hmm. Once they kept kept Van Dyke, because, you know, his money behind him at that time, he had the NIL deal and all of that stuff, and he was, out of all the quarterbacks, Van Dyke was the most proven because it's freshman year. So okay. we knew what the ceiling looked like. Everybody else was guessing. So okay. you go, you keep Van Dyke in. My question still remains, when would he have played? You maybe could have played in Boston College game to see what you had. Well, but well here's, like all right, but here's what I'll say. But, but right, but here's what I'll tell you. You're right. I love the way you put that, and you're 100 percent right. If you're going to redshirt, maybe not. But here's what I will say. You knew 
game four, I'm sorry, I apologize. The last four games would have been NC State, Florida State, Louisville, Boston College. You don't know that Emory Williams is hurt until Florida State game. That I get. Correct. But Correct. even but even in the NC State game where we did not score an offensive touchdown, you could have mm-hmm. again, knowing that you, that Virginia week, there's times where you can get him reps, packages, right? To run the ball, just like they did his freshman year, right? To get the tough first down, mm-hmm. maybe throw the little easy uh, mm-hmm. bubble screen, but to get him in. Not saying that you he, mm-hmm. he had to play, but NC State, mm-hmm. we did not score an offensive touchdown. That mm-hmm. could have been a game, as we clearly saw them do against us with Brennan Armstrong and MJ Morris. They brought Brennan Armstrong in there to do what? Get first downs with his legs. I'm not again, I'm not mm-hmm. saying that, <clears throat> excuse me, Ja'Cory Brown had to come in and throw a thousand yards across the field, but NC State. He could have come in and given that spark because Tyler Van Dyke was struggling. I don't remember Tyler Van Dyke's stats, but let me go ahead and click it and let me look it up. He was terrible. Ty- Tyler, Van Dyke, Tyler yeah. Van Dyke threw three interceptions in that game. 21 for 38. I, not, sep- no, no, hear me out. But you're asking, when could, you're asking me when could he have played. Here would have been a perfect time. Hear me out. Here would have been a perfect time to put him in even a series just to give Tyler Van Dyke a sit down and say, look, like what, like that happens sometimes. I ain't saying you got to bench him forever, but I don't care if you pull him out. He done threw three, three stinking picks. We get no first downs. Mark Fletcher got 115 yards, right? Henry Parrish only had 15 yards. Donald Cheney had four. Our offense was stale. It was stale. So if our offense is stale, maybe he's a maybe he's a guy to get a spark. Sometimes in games, you know this, you say you play, sometimes you got to do something just to get a spark to start a fire, right? Fine, okay? Hold up, I'm going to go back because you asked me when he could play. No, Florida State comes next. Emory Williams goes in mm-hmm. when they decide to put – I mean, Emory Williams goes in, right, over Tyler Van Dyke. Mm-hmm. Fine. If he doesn't play in that game, I guess I'm okay with it. It was close. I dig it. It is what it is. I have no problem. Hold up. I pressed the wrong button, y'all. I'm sorry. God dog on the haze. Louisville comes no, up. No, that's not when it's supposed to be football. But go ahead. Yep. Say it again. Yep. That's not when what? That's yep. that's not when what? That's not so that's not when they're supposed like not I don't mean that's not when they're supposed to play. But originally, so when they red shirt right now, we know this there's a new rule where you get to play four games in red shirt. That, I don't think that's always been that way. But you no. play four games. Correct. Usually, when they do that, though, and they were to play you within that four, that's usually if somebody got hurt and you had to play. No. It's not. It's no. not. That's not it's true. Not, no, this is what I'm telling you that, Coach. This is what mm-hmm. I'm saying. No, no, no. I'm talking about – I'm not talking about, like, at the beginning of the year where you want to get your, your freshmen some reps and stuff like that because that's what they was using. They was giving Emory Williams some early on reps because he had no college experience. I understand that philosophy. I'm saying later in the year, just as we're going down, you don't just typically now now that we're highlighting that this is a problem, they may change it going forward. But typically, the coach don't say, "Hey, the red shirt athlete who ain't been playing," because you would have had to have thought of that well before. Like you would have had to have thought of like, "Yo, Jakari, we're gonna play him this year." I think when he decided the red shirt, Miami was under assumption. He's not going to play this year because no one knew Tyler Van Dyke was going to do that. That's they not thought, true. Hey, we but that's a, not. A, a he, hold on, hold on, hear me out, brother. We didn't think. No, no, you didn't think. Uh-huh. That's right. We didn't. We were on the outside. What I'm telling you from the inside was, my goal is to red uh-huh. shirt. But if situations uh-huh. occur, then I'm willing to play. What we're saying is, don't burn my red shirt like you did the first year because you really didn't have to play me. Like you put me in Bethune Cookman to hand the ball off twice. Let's not burn my red shirt for bulls crap like that. But what the understanding was that he was going to play red shirt me, sit me down. But if I need to play, then fine. Not picking up garbage time, right? Not that we blow somebody out 55 to three. Yeah. Let Emory go out there for that. But what I'm saying is if there's a thing where I need to play and, and I can play within those four games and conserve my red shirt, that's the deal. That's that. That's what didn't happen. But let me finish this. I got to push on. I got to push on. 
Louisville comes up 38 31. I get it. I'm not tripping. Boston College, there's no reason in the world this young man should have not played in that game because by that time, I may be wrong, but by that time, I guarantee the the, the Miami Hurricane staff knew Tyler Van Dyke was out. And they knew That's that why you, I think they let him play. He didn't play in Boston That's College. Why they let him play. If you, no, that's why they let Van. Me, you talked about that when they let Van Dyke play the end of the game. Remember they gave the way. Remember we both said, bro, the way they gave that man, they did that hug at the end was like, man, thank I you. I know, man. but what? But you're missing my point. I don't out. care. What I'm saying is, here's my yeah, deal. Yeah. No, I get where you're coming from, but at the end of the day, I still have a team to run. Right? We see yeah. seniors on yep. senior night blow out somebody, yep. and they don't play the entire game. So guess what? I could have hugged you at the end of the at the middle of the third, end of the third quarter. Thank you for your efforts, man. Dip, whatever. Jacari, let's go. Because now you know Jacari gonna have to play Ruckers or whoever the bowl. I don't think they knew what the bowl game was, but he's gonna have to play in this bowl game because you knew Emory was out with a broken arm. You knew Tyler Van Dyke was dipping. Emory's next. I mean, uh, uh right. Jacari's next. <laughs> so there were opportunities right. for him to come in. I'm not saying he would have got a gang of opportunities, but zero reps, zero right. snaps. I, I that, that's where I am, but bro, I gotta push on, man. Thank you, though. Thank you, man. Yep, yep. Anytime, man. All right, a good call right there. I'll enjoy that. 9963 coming to you, Nick. Call or talk to oh, that 9963. Call or talk to us. Give us your name. Where you calling from? Yo, what's up, Coach? Hey, this is Trey from Wildwood. Man. Trey, what's up, man? Wildwood, man. Talk to me. <clears throat> All right, so what is it? what's the question of the stream? Why the four people leaving? Well, the title is the Miami lose four top okay. players in the transfer portal. That's Nigel Lee Kelly, Cyrus Moss, Jaleel Skinner, and Cor and Chris Gray. Excuse me. All right. Cyrus and Jaleel Skinner, they both got recruited with the same mindset based off potential. It's like you don't deny a recruit that's one, like, what, they're almost a similar height. Granted, they didn't have the body weight for it, but neither, but neither did Jason Taylor when he came into college. And he flourished into a Hall of Fame. So they just didn't put off and they just didn't put off enough weight for them to. Nigel Lee Kelly, we bring in too many defensive linemen. We're probably gonna go after another one in the portal when they open up. And he stayed hurt all the time. Not saying it's his fault necessarily, but it's like, look, he know he's not gonna get that many reps. Not in spring, probably not in fall when we add somebody else. So he had to do. Chris Graves. His uh, the thing with the top, so I'm like, I don't really know. So it's like, them four, really, it really doesn't affect us as bad as people think. Like, not really Kelly, yeah, he was good, but we're bringing in dogs. I understand he was a dog, but did he name one game where he really had an impact? He was young, man. I mean, he got hurt. I forgot what game he got hurt last year. And again, I, I get that. I, I'm, I'm not saying, listen, I'm not opposed. I was just shocked. That's all I'm saying. I wasn't opposed. Yeah, yeah. I was just shocked. That's all. I mean, I hear it. I get it. Yeah. Maybe the writing was on the wall. You know, again, he has conversations with coaches, his parents, his mom. I was just shocked. Like, I could see Cyrus Moss leaving. I could see Jalil Skinner leaving. Like, the writing was on the wall for them. You could see it coming, right? But mm -hmm. for Nigel e. Kelly, <clears throat> maybe the writing was on the wall. Maybe it wasn't, but it wasn't an obvious it wasn't graffiti, let me put it that way. You know what I mean? It was kind of written okay. in, in, in doggone invisible ink a little bit. So when it popped across the screen, I'm like, what? So that's all I was saying. But go ahead. Okay. And uh, what is it, JB? Now, it's two sides of the story. Because I was because as I was away and I was looking up Oregon recruiting class uh, when, uh, when Mario took over. So if you look at his recruiting class, he really didn't recruit dual threats. Like as much he got, what, Ty Thompson – Tyler Shuck was at Texas Tech, and he and he got, but he got like two other quarterbacks, but but like neither of them were like a dual threat. Now one year he did bring in a transfer from Boston College, Anthony Brown, um, that year with Oregon beat Ohio State. Yeah, he was a dual threat, but he kind of worked with what he had. That was probably the best option that they had on the staff. So it's like, now granted, when JV, all right, when, all right, so when JV got when the bowl game ended, we, everybody knew Miami was looking for another quarterback. Yeah, he played good in the game, but we knew we were looking for another quarterback. We just wasn't ready for him yet. Mm -hmm. So we went and got Reese. And so we're thinking, okay, Reese going to be here one year, possibly two, and then JB for 25 or 26. I agree with that. Now, what's kind of unfair is that 
we didn't expect to get Cam Ward because Cam Ward said he was going to the NFL. So when Cam Ward came to us, we already immediately like, okay, well, Cam's getting the first reps. Now who's number two? It's probably going to be Reese because we bought him in for Jakari. So when so it's like I expect him to transfer, but when people are like saying like saying like did it, I don't know. I can he to. play? I believe he can can play, but he when when you go into a Clemson game and your first option is Emory Williams, writing's on the wall, and then the writing's on the wall after the bowl game when they got into the quarterback. Yeah, and, and here's what I'll say, right? Perfect example. Clemson was a big game, huge game, big game. And you did, and you sit him down. Okay, I get it. I like I said, brother. I'm not. I'm not even tripping. I I, I get it. I I just. I mean, I, I've said what I had to say, and I could just keep saying the same thing over and over. But I, I I get where you're coming from. You know, when Cam Ward came back, it did throw a monkey wrench in in the in the pecking order, if that makes sense. It did. So it, it did. It threw a, it threw a monkey wrench in the pecking order. And if if Jacory Brown transfers, I totally understand. I'm not mad at him. If he stays, 100%. if he stays, then I I have to say this. I just be I'm a Kane fan. But if he stays, in my opinion, and there are different reasons why people stay. Now let's get past just the football part. So I just want to say that I just right. I just want to put that disclaimer out there. If he right. stays, more- if he stays, he has to know. He has to understand why he's staying. And understand the room in which he's in, and that's so I'll just leave it at, leave, leave it like that. But brother, I got a push, man. I got quite a few people back here. They they got something to say. <laughs> All right, man. Coach, take it easy, man. Thanks, man. Appreciate you, brother. All right, real quick. Uh, yeah. Mark in the building says, "Being young means nothing." Look at Bane. And Mark, I appreciate your comment, but what you just said proves my point of people make the exception the rule. Bane is the exception. How Bain is the exception. How many other freshman All American do we have on our team? How many other freshman All American do we have on the Miami Hurricane? I'm just asking. I'm not trying to say this to show you up. I'm just saying when we make when we make comparisons, <laughs> Nigel Lee Kelly, Bain, the exception is not the rule, and we got to be careful with that. That's all I'm saying. That's my opinion. Mike for the ten dollars. Uh, thank you so much, man. I appreciate that, man. Mike for 10 bucks out there. And uh appreciate that. Chrissy, man, how you doing, man? JB needs a transfer. He's going to waste his years in Miami as a backup. Fall out in spring game and transfer. No, I, I hear you. Francis. Francis Maui Goa. Good. Exception. Okay. And if you got a team of freshman All Americans. We wouldn't be seven and five, dog. Just saying. Just saying. Just saying. We wouldn't be seven and five. But I appreciate you. But on the real, thank you, man. All right, going to the next call here, man. My man Alex from Mexico in the building. What's up with you, man? Ain't talked to you in a minute. Come on, stop. How you doing? I'm good, man. How's it going? Good, good, good brother. To talk to you. Good, man. Been a while. Yeah. So what's up? Um. Just on that topic, um, I think three out of the four had two problems. One, weight problem, and two, injury problems, mm-hmm. which I've been a little concerned the last year and a half with that big mustache, big muscle dude that looks like he's in steroid running behind Christopher on the sidelines here in the games. And, uh, look at our uh, injuries. Mm-hmm. That's the word. Uh, a, 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 lot, a lot of injuries. Um, and then you're talking about uh, Cyrus Moss did not gain the weight, did not gain, you know, yeah. bulk up. Yeah. Talking about the uh, tight end also. Mm-hmm. Jaleel Skinner. And uh, Nigel, uh, yeah, uh, not Nigel Lee uh, Kelly. He's part of the injuries and more injuries. So I, th- I think part of the problem is in, in the weight room and the and the and the, and the development and in, in, in the strength program. Um, go, going to JB, you know I'm a big JB fan. Last year I thought that 
when Tyler started struggling that he would come in and we got all got surprised when they said that they registered, you know, he wanted to register. Um, two things. Mm-hmm. Number one, um, everybody's in on Mario, right? Okay. Is it a Mario problem or is it a Dawson problem? Who, 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 who runs the quarterback room? Quarterback coach and defensive coordinator, correct? Or am I incorrect in that point? Oh, yeah, the quarterback coach and so forth. But I always tell people the buck stops with the HC, right? So, I, I yes, you're right. You're 100% correct. But at the end of the day, uh, I put it to you like this, and I know you know this, but I'm just speaking in general here. When, when, when the stocks drop, the manager of the uh, compliance department don't get fired. It's the CEO. So I'll put it to you like that. So the CEO has to answer the question. But to your point, yes. Uh, you know, the quarterback coach, the coordinator, they devise a plan. Coach Cristobal being an offensive line guy is probably a part of those conversations. And um, and he checks off on it. He he he, he approves it. So that's what I I'll remember, say. Remember, Coach, uh, JB kept saying how he wanted to stay involved during the season. And he, he was running the scout team. Do you remember that that he that he he was running the scout team yeah. every week? Yeah, yeah. And so he was he. To me, maybe it was a scheme that you know we had Tyler and 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 uh, Dawson was running that scheme, and they and and they just weren't running the scheme for him. And then number two, a, 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 you know uh, what Eve Brown said. I respect Eve Brown. I'm, you know, uh, talking about the racial angle. I mean, man, you got Jason Taylor, Hall of Famer. You got Beard, a, a Miami uh, player from from high school. On to, uh, you got all these D Nick. You think you think you think that the racial angle could could, could play in, in, into uh, if they're going to play if they're going to play uh, JB or not? I I, I I don't believe so. I'll say that, this. I, I I'll say this. I, I I don't believe that from the coaching staff. I believe that is a fan problem. I have to be honest. I think it's a fan problem. I don't think it's a coaching issue. I think more than it is a fan issue. Um, it just, I mean, you know, when people say they don't see race, no, they're lying. It, it's just what it is. And well, you know, and you I, know, I, on this I mean, show, I, know that. I, I mean, yeah, I know you know that, but I'm just speaking to, to remember, I'm also speaking to these people. And so when I'm speaking to people, you know, like I said, it, it's all on how things are perceived. I can say something mm-hmm. and say, Alex, you can say something because I may be, a, because I'm a black person and I say it, people say, Oh, it's race. You say it. It's not. Or vice versa. You say it. Oh, he's raised that. If I say it, it's not, it's all on how it's perceived. Um, you know, and, and I think that's just what it is. I personally, I personally do not believe it's a race issue. I really don't. Um, and matter of fact, speaking of street on football view, he never said anything about race, but I believe it's the messenger, the messenger, whoever delivers that message, uh, people follow that. And no, another time. thing, another thing, coach, when, when in the hell has the death charge in spring, uh, been worth a damn. I, th- I think that's a problem with this transfer portal that, you know, uh, I think JB. I think JB can beat this Hoffenberger uh, guy out. I mean, uh, we're talking. We're, we're in the spring. Spring game hasn't been played yet. You know, I, I think that the transfer portal is a big issue where these get. You know, and I think JB's going to stay. I really do. I think he's a cane. He loves the canes, and uh, I'm rooting for him. The one that I'm rooting for, you know, I coached his dad. He played for. Uh, he played at uh, Miami. Willie Smith, his son, uh, Chase, Smith. Chase Smith. I heard he's transferring. That hurts me a lot, man. Yeah, I, man. Uh, he's my pots player, he's pop off the family. screen player. He's my first pop off the screen player. He's had injury issues as well. I think he's super gifted. Uh, but here's what I will say about this. I coached his daddy and uh, Chase Smith when he was at Englewood High School. I oh, wow. Him, uh, That's awesome. Junior high and uh, Pop Warner. And then he, got a, he was a great tight end at UM. Right. Willie. That's yeah, yeah, Willie. Yes, man. That's awesome, man. I appreciate that. But I'll just say this here at the end. Um, you know, when you look at certain things and you look at guys that decide to leave, I totally understand it. Um, 
and everybody always has to do what they feel is best for their family. And I'll just go ahead and leave it at that, man. But Alex, all the way from Mexico, man, every time you call, but I just picture myself drinking a Corona sitting on the beach, man. I don't know why. I would love to have uh, you and, uh, and, and 12. I, I, missed, I, I missed the show the other night because I thought it was going to be on Friday night and you had it on Thursday night. Yeah. Congrats for your uh, anniversary. Thank you, man. I for- it on Friday night and I missed it. It was Thursday night. <laughs> four year, the four-year anniversary. But, man, I appreciate it. Hey, me and V12 may jump on a plane, man, and come check you out. Who knows? Ain't no You're telling. welcome. You've got a place to stay and, uh, and uh, anytime you want to. All right. I love Full it. Full hospitality. All right. Appreciate it, man. Thank you, Alex. Nice All right. You too, man. Don't be a stranger, brother. All right. Here we go. Real quick. Man, hold up. Smooth. Coach, you watching Bama Saturday since you can't watch man, Bama? Yeah, don't you ever call in here and try my Miami Hurricane like that. We're going to be on TV. We just can't be at the game. Man, ain't nobody watching no Bama. Matter of fact, who in the world is Kalen DeBoer? Get that crap out of here. Out of here, smooth. Anyway, going up here next. Oh, Angel in the building. Remember, Angel, talk to us. Angel, what's up with you, buddy? Oh, yeah. What's going on? I'm good, man. Sound like you eating up that road out there, baby. Yep, yep. We out here. We in the street. On the highway street. You outside, outside. Talk to me, man. What's up with you? What's your thoughts? Uh, it's simple, coach. Uh-huh. Yesterday's price is not today's price. Yesterday's is price every is day. not today's price. And, and that's just unfortunate for the guys that came in. Unfortunately, they didn't pan out. But guess what? Now they're getting passed up by new blood in the program. I get it. <clears throat> I mean, I, 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 I got say- it, it's life, man. It's, it is life, and I totally understand that. Um, I, I, I get it. I, I totally understand it. Um, you know, like I said, I, I do. I, I like I said, the Nigel Lee Kelly thing for me was more shocking. I may understand it, but it was shocking. It was something I didn't, I didn't necessarily see it coming. But it was more shocking. But I, I right. understand it. I, I do understand it. I do understand. It. You know, it's like it's like that thing goes. What have you done for me lately? That's life, boy. That's life. And if you got somebody chomping at the bit, take your spot. And if they're better than you, they're bigger than you, they're more athletic than you, well, fortunately, Coach is going to put in the the better guy. And you're going to fall behind. You're 100% right. Hey, ask the the YouTube algorithm. It lives by that. Boy, if you don't put out a video every day, guess what? Gone. I'm going to go somewhere else. What have you done for me lately? Nothing. I'm out. So, no, I totally understand. And, and, and that's life. That's business. That's everywhere. I don't care what it is. It is. That, that, like that, you said, Coach, yeah. there's no family in there, right? No family. No, no, family. Um, no family, Coach. Yeah. <laughs> uh, as far as the JV situation, man, that I think that's uh, that's Crystal Ball's fault. Mm, talk the, to minute, you. the minute he, uh, he benched uh, Tyler, and uh, Emery came in and unfortunately broke his arm. The next game, Tyler probably had maybe that first quarter to show up, to show up or sit your ass down on the bench. I like that. So what did you say? He threw three interceptions in that game? Three picks. Yeah, yeah, that, that would have been it. First quarter, he would have been, been gone, and J.B. would have took over for the rest of the season. Whether he wanted to play or not, hey, I'm the coach. And you have to do as an instructor, right? I'm the coach. I run the show. So you're going to play. If you're not going to play, go somewhere else. And that's, that's just unfortunate for JB. Yeah, it is, man. It surely is. Angel, let me go ahead and knock these other ones out, man. We rolling up in here today, man. Yeah. Come on. All right, man. Hey, Angel, man, how long did y'all stay? Oh, no, we, we got off at of about 2.30 in the locker room. Angel be in the locker room. Yeah, be in there. Come on. Come get it. Angel, I got a quick question for you. You ready? I'm ready. Come on. Did Ray give you permission? Did she give you permission to come on here and speak? <laughs> uh, hey, you see she ain't been in the chat because I didn't give her permission to start typing. Hey, did Ray give you permission to come on here to call in? <laughs> you better tighten up, man. Man, get that. 
Coach, get that mess out of here. Man, you better tighten up. You know what they Talk say. Yourself, coach, with that. You come right out of Ain't no beta males in here. You like a beta fish. You in a little bowl on the kitchen counter, man. <laughs> Did Ray give you permission? Hey, no. Hey, don't get Ray started. I'm just messing with you. That's a little team. Hey, that's a little team locker room uh, inside joke there. So if you want to be part of locker room, make sure you go in and join it. If not, Ray, Ray crash your computer now. Be careful. Hey, control. Hey, control. All delete and log out. Anyway, we out of here, man. Appreciate you, dog. Let me go and get to the right. next callers. All right, yeah. peace. All right, man. Oh, shot town Kane in the building. What's up with you, shot? Talk to me, man. Where you been? Well, I've been around, man. Just been busy, man. How y'all doing? I'm good. I'm good, man. Talk to me. Uh, none, none, man. Like I was, I wasn't shocked that Nigel Luke left. Um, after hearing everything about uh, the transfer from Marshall, what he's been doing, I mean, I can understand it. And people need to remember, he enrolled at 17 years old, and then just, I mean, he's still not even 20 yet. I don't think. So what are you talking about? Curry? Injury, not. No, oh yeah, he was young. Yeah, he was a young. Yep, yeah, age wise, yeah. yes, yes. Yeah, age wise, yeah. And then on top of that, that's a that's a hard pill to swallow. At, at, at nineteen, like you've been one of the best players your entire life. At nineteen, you finally realize it's like it's a hard pill to swallow. Mm-hmm. Um, that's number one. But um, I saw that uh, you know the the uh the post that you did of the top four players in the uh in his first recruiting class all left. Mm-hmm. But I think that should just show people that stars don't mean everything because mm. the best player from that class was the lowest ranked player we had we uh we got that, Say that again? Uh, Inez cooper was the low uh, mm-hmm. Inez cooper was the lowest ranked player we got in that class and he's been the only true starter since the got year. you okay you mean yeah confused okay I, so what you were saying was okay Inez cooper was the lowest ranked guy on our list but he's been the one who's been the most productive good point good point good point yeah, well, actually, the literally, okay, the, so I'm looking at the class now. The lowest five players, Inez Cooper, Ahmad Moten, Matthew McCoy, Jaden Harris, and Isaiah Horton. Mm. Isaiah Horton is looking to crack the, the, starting, the starting lineup. Mm-hmm. Jaden Harris is in, in line to be a starter this year. Ahmad Moten. Maybe rotational, but he's looking to, you know, actually like start or get some playing time. Mm-hmm. Matthew McCoy, that offensive line is just loaded, so I feel like he'll fit in with his time. And mm-hmm. then Inez Cooper just been starting since since his freshman year. Good so point. for all the top, the top four, the top four players that are leaving, the bottom five are fixing the start. Good point. Shot. So I mean it's, it's a... kinda like okay. like I get it, like that's a nice headline. But if you look at the the, the whole picture, mm-hmm. it's not it's not you know it's not like oh well Mario just doesn't develop. No, he's developing. It's just the players that y'all don't want, <laughs> or y'all did not think that would develop. That's true. You know what I'm saying? Mm, good yeah. point. Good point. Good point. Good point. Good point. Yeah. No, yeah. listen, I, listen. I appreciate it, man. That's uh, that, that is a very good point, man. Uh, in what you're saying, um, but let me hear your take on JB, man. I'm going to do that. 459 people in the building. Thank you. Hit the like, share, subscribe button. We rocking tonight, man. It ain't usually like this in the offseason. That means the spring game is coming up this Saturday. And before Chi-Town answers, if you are a member, we will be good putting our good eyeball on the spring game, if you know what I'm saying, in the champagne room. So if you're not a member, make sure you're a member and come on into the champagne room because we're going to be rocking in that thing. Matter of fact, cinnamon coming to the stage. Shout out to South Coast King. Uh, strawberry, uh, you know, sapphire. We got them all. Anyway, talk to us real quick, man. So on the JV thing, I'm conflicted. Um, I don't think it's a race thing. Like I, I, I know that's some underlying stuff, but I don't think it's a race thing. And if it is, it's kind of weird to say because from what I heard, Shannon Dawson wanted Cam Ward. Like, Cam Ward was his number one choice. And, I mean, it's kind of hard not to see Cam Ward is of darker complexion. He's black. So, I mean, I don't, I don't think it's a racist. That's fair. Um, I, I definitely think 
the way Crystal Ball handled that quarterback room last year was kind of criminal. Um, you burned Emory's red shirt on the game that he ended up breaking his breaking his own. Like, so basically, you just cost this kid his red shirt, and you just lost him for the rest of the year, and set uh, and regressed him for the following year. So I, I feel like that's kind of criminal. I understand bringing in two transfer quarterbacks because you definitely needed one, but then you also don't want to be in the same position you were last year. So I understand getting uh, Reese Poffenberger or whatever uh, his last name. Now, should like I've heard different stories on JB. I've heard, oh, he did something wrong and he's in the doghouse. I've heard that he's actually been the, the the in line to be the second best quarterback in the room, but for some odd reason he's not getting snapped. I mean, I've heard every story you could possibly imagine. I don't think that just shows we don't know what's going on. Mm-hmm. And so if I don't know what's going on, then I'm not going to speak on it. I can only give my opinion. I hope he doesn't leave because I think they should give Emory the service of having him redshirt. Heal up that arm, learn mentally, and give him time to actually work on himself. And I feel like he'll actually be a really good redshirt sophomore. Because then when Cam leaves, then you have a real quarterback battle if Jakari stays. Then you have Reese, Jakari, Emory. And then you have Luke uh, Nickel, the freshman that's incoming, who I have a feeling he's actually going to be a sleeper, low five star. Mm-hmm. I mean, just if you look at his body at work from last year in the season, winning the team all the way to state championship, beating really good teams to get here, mm-hmm. I feel like he's going to be definitely a sleeper quarterback. Mm-hmm. Um, then you have Judd, who everybody knew was a project. He has the prototypical size and everything like that, but everybody knew he, he needed time to develop. So you're looking at back-to-back years where you have a five-quarterback room. So, of course, there's going to be a quarterback leaving or attrition or whatever you want to call it. Mm -hmm. But it's better to have more people than not enough. Because if you you don't have enough, then you have to really scramble to fill it up and somebody just trips on their shoelace. If you have too many, then you get the luxury of picking or having those having those rough conversations right. on, hey, this quarterback is th- this room is five people deep. Do you really think you could work that hard to get there? Or after the spring game, you could sit down with the kid and be like, listen, you performed really well, but there's just too many people in here, right. and I feel like it's best if you go on somewhere else, as opposed to having two quarterbacks injured and you're stuck with two freshmen and you're just like, y'all might not be ready, but y'all got to play. Right. So I definitely feel like we have enough enough depth to have that rough conversation. Now, will it be Reese? Will it be Jakari? We don't know. I would much rather it be Reese because I feel like Jakari has he has put up with whatever Coach Cristobal said. He he was mature enough to realize, hey, I am not as good as I as I think I am. I need to develop. Y'all could blame him for choosing to redshirt. First of all, that's not your life. Let the kids do his life. And when millions are on the line, who knows how we would actually talk about the situation. Gotcha. I, so, feel, I feel like Jakari has, has earned that right. All right. So, so here's what I'll say. It's funny you brought this up. Mike Lowry in the building. I see you. Muhammad, I'm coming to you. I want to say this, and I'll say this in the end. You brought up something about quarterback management and the, the management of the room. All right? Yeah. Um, hold on, David S. Before I do that, David S. with a dono in the building he says, David S. said 1999. Thank you. Y'all clap it up for David S. Appreciate that. Get real, guys. JB didn't play because Emory beat his AA out. Emory beat Clemson and would have beat FSU if not injured, if not for injury. We have a Ken Dorsey slash Walsh in the wings. Okay, David S. I appreciate the 1999. Oh, good opinion. And that actually leads me to where I want to go with this um, and to what you were just talking about, management of the quarterback room. I think both of them have been victimized of their red shirt. Okay, both of them. I will go to Emory Williams first. Last year, and I kind of understand it, 
but I'm a person that highly believes if you're going to play me, play me. Don't play with me. Hear what I just said. If you're going to play me, play me. Don't play with me. You put Emory Williams in the game for Miami of Ohio. He had three throws, right? Three completions on three attempts, 42 yards, one rush for negative one yard. Probably got sacked. That's playing with me, right? Bethune Cookman, nine, nine attempts, 11 catches, one yard. That's playing me. That's playing me. I get it. You got some legitimate reps in the game. Temple, one attempt, zero completions. That's it. The rest were handoffs. He didn't even run the ball. Not one time. That's playing with me. You put me in the game. I did not get better because I threw one pass in the Temple game. I did not get better. I did not get better because I threw three passes in the Miami of Ohio game. I did not get better. Yeah, you put Peyton McKelty into those type of games. You right. Don't, you don't do not not for college. one rep, not for two reps. I'd rather you just play the starter, hand the ball off. Clemson game, you're playing me. 24 for 33. Or, yeah, 24 for 33. Didn't run the ball at all. 151 yards. Perfect. Florida State. Eight for 23. You're playing. So what I'm saying is, if you take the two play with me games away, Miami of Ohio and Temple, unfortunately, he does not, he he broke his arm, but you also don't burn his red shirt. Now, they may be able to fight to get a medical red shirt or something like that. I don't know. They can go in there and do that. But that's Emory Williams. To me, that's criminal. Because you're playing with them, not playing them. Now, let's go to Ja'Curry Brown in the sense of how you mismanage the room. But Thone Cookman, this is Ja'Curry Brown's freshman year, not his first year, his freshman year. God, the way ads. All right. But Thone Cookman, zero rushes, zero passes. You playing with me. You going to tell me, but Thone Cookman, I couldn't throw a ball, bro? But that's fine. Virginia Tech, two carries for 22 yards, no passing attempts. You're playing with me. Duke, two rushes for two yards, zero passing attempts. You're playing with me. Virginia, five rushing attempts, 28 yards, no passing attempts. You're kind of playing with me. I, I'll work with that. Now, Florida State, you playing me. 13, I'm sorry, 13 carries, 64 yards. Yeah, I got it right. 64 yards. I'm trying to look to see. Is this it? Hold on, Hayes, tighten up. I don't think he threw a ball. Actually, no, he did because he got sacked on a couple plays. Yeah, he threw an interception, but but they don't have they don't have up here his attempt. He probably didn't throw any. Georgia Tech. No, he they, got he he was throwing away too many. Yeah, Georgia Tech. They played him. Clemson. They played him. All I'm trying to say is, at the end of the day, if you save the Bethune Cookman, Virginia Tech, and Duke, God dog on it, these ads killing me. I got to tighten up. Clap yourself, Coach. I'm sorry. If you take away the play with me games, he saves his red shirt. That's all I'm saying. If you you put a kid in a throw cut me game and didn't let him run it or pass it, why are you playing with me, Coach? Yeah, no. I just, I'm just saying, bro. Yeah, and and honestly, like, 
I think what both of these kids actually had the, the misfortune of doing is dealing with Mario when he thought he knew better. Because as at year three, he finally started to regulate himself. He let Coach Shannon Dawson bring in the guy he wanted. He let Coach Gidry bring in the guy he wanted. He's letting his coordinators actually dictate what they need and telling him, like, hey, this is what I need, and I need your approval. I guess. Like, he's finally starting to delegate it. I and I think Emery and Jakari were victims of Coach Mario coming in and being like, well, I can't make it much worse than it already is. And I've been in winning programs, so y'all, y'all need to listen to me. I got you. And I got you. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I and, get you, Angel. Yeah. I'm an angel. I mean, I get you, uh, uh, Shy. I, I totally understand where you're coming from. I'm just saying at the end of the day, to me, those are bad management deals. It, that's just my personal opinion, man. But anyway, let me push on. I got Mike Larry and I got Muhammad in here, and we're going to get it rocking, man. Thank you so much for calling, man. You made some drop some knowledge tonight. You dropped some knowledge tonight. Of course. People can't call me anything but uneducated. Ooh. Woo. Tighten up now. I love it. All right, okay. All right, brother. Appreciate you. All right. I was just saying, I brought this up before in the past, but those are the things I'm saying when you mismanage a guy. When you mismanage, when you mismanage these guys, and that is why, see, people are going to say, "Oh, he he asked for the red shirt. He was trying to get a year back that he lost because it was mismanaged his freshman year." It was mismanaged. I, I'm just saying, bro. That's all. Put him in the Pittsburgh game. Two rushes for negative four yards. Two carries. I'm just saying. Just saying. All right. Let me get into Mike Larry. And let me get uh to Muhammad. You definitely coming in. Guys, go ahead and start calling in. 472 people in the building. Let's get this thing to 500. Can we get this to 500? I would greatly appreciate 500 in here. Huh? Come on. We can get it to 500. Mike Lowry. <laughs> we bad boys for life, dog. You got some brown sugar? What's happening? You know I got brown sugar, Coach. <laughs> they say you got that white sugar. Is that true? Nah. <laughs> you know I keep brown sugar, man. Come on, man. All I got right. white sugar, brown sugar, yellow sugar, purple sugar, whatever sugar. Man. You got that powder sugar? That be on the elephant ears, huh? Talk to you, boy. I got, I got every kind of sugar you could think of. All right, talk to us, man. Talk to us. Muhammad say, hey, stay coach, tuned for his hey, call. Coach, hey, coach. Um, we talking about the transfers. Back in 2023, uh, we had 26 guys leave out. All right, these are some of the names that left out 2023. Malik Curtis. Dominic Morelli, Chris Graves, Terry Roberts, Thomas Davis, Jabari Ishmael, Khalil Brantley, Jake Garcia, Ja'Kai Clark, Avery Huff, John Campbell Jr., Kamari Rogers, Romello Brinson, Daryl Jackson, Jalen Knighton, Jordan Miller, Abonte Williams, Isaiah Dunson, Jalen Harrell, Keyshawn Smith, Elijah Roberts, Bad Franklin, Keyshawn Washington, Alan Hay, Al Blades, and Gilbert Frierson. Remember them names? I remember those names. Yes, sir, I do. All right, let me name some more guys for you. For the 2024 class. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Do me a favor. I get it. Cause, cause I got, I got a couple of people here, so I know where you're going. We we'll get us to the deadline. Talk to us. We'll t talk to us. I, I know what street you're running nah, down, but go ahead. I'm listening. I'm, I'm just naming the names. All Jamal right. All Burroughs, Jaden George, Devontae Brown, Collins, Apunchamun, Achi Apong, Rashad, Achi Apong, Rashad Smith. 
this is not this is a name that hurt me to my heart right here. Kobe Young. Now y'all were talking about Cyrus Moss and Jalen Skin Jaleel Skinner, Chaz Williams, Frank Lapson. This 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 is the one you will praise a lot. Corey Flagg. My dog. Tyler Van Dyke, Donald Chaney, and Javari Harvey. Okay. Now I know you remember them names. Of course. So, okay, I hear all that, but what's the point? What, what, what point are you making? The point is, when are we going to stay and compete, stop running? If you hear some of the old guys talk about how when they was at the U, they wouldn't dare thought about transferring. Because they wanted to compete versus the best. And so, it maybe took them three years to get on the field, but when they got the opportunity, what they did with it. I get it. But unfortunately, they have a way out. Before, you didn't have that way out. So you know my favorite line is, Back in the days when I was young, I'm not a kid anymore. But some days I sit and wish I was a kid again. We can't live back in the days because the transfer portal exists. And I have to tell people this. We live both ways on this street. For those that left, we also picked up some good pieces. We picked up a Kiko Maui Goa. We picked up a Cam Ward. We picked up a Bubba Bolden. We picked up a Jalen Phillips. We picked up a Henry Parrish. We picked up quite a few people that at their respective school didn't compete and came to our school and helped give us some wins. So I get where you're going, Mike. I get it. But the rules have well, changed. The rules have changed. The, the philosophy of this program, which I'm starting to believe is, we go and get the freshmen. All right? If you if you go and look at what's been going on the cap last couple of three, four years, they barely use the transfer portal. Like they're ranked number thirty-two in the nation. Who is this? Us? You know? Yeah, Miami Hurricane. Okay. So, I like the philosophy, which you're saying that we have us. What we have two freshmen right now, all American. Yeah. So that, that's a good thing, you know, to to build on on that. But like you said, we're not going to give Crystal Ball that much time to get this thing done. So his back is against the wall. You know, I hate to bring up Jimbo Fisher, but Jimbo Fisher didn't have a losing season. But he wasn't doing what what is the expectations of the donors or, or, or the alumni or, or the fan base mm-hmm. wanted, wanted him to do. So, you know, I could see, you know, like the last caller called in, Chi-Town and the caller before him, the guy in Mexico and, you know, he hates to see uh, players that he coached that went to Miami and son transfer. You know, like, if you want to build a successful program, you got to retain members. You know, you just can't have guys coming in your program or your institution or your organization and just coming in and developing people and leaving. And if that's his job, that's his job, to develop the staff. But these are young men that need to learn consistency and structure. You know, everywhere they go in life, they, they can't bounce around. But 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 can I say you know, this to you? My grandfather always told me. My grandfather always told me you got to find a place and and stick to it. I get that. And here's the problem: the rules were in place where you couldn't do that, right? Unfortunately, right. the rule is there that there's an exit plan, and that's what it is. And see, so I'm with you. I understand it. But unfortunately, we play within the rules, right? I get the whole stick to it of this. Correct. I get the whole thing where you know you signed up for it. You don't quit. You you do your term, and then you if you don't want to do it again after that, then that's different. But it's not like that anymore, unfortunately, Mike. Like it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? And that's what it is across the na- across the nation, across this sport is changing literally before our eyes. And bro, can I tell you something? Think about prior to oh, us. Think of, I'm just say this piece, and I got to push. Think about prior to us coming up when a transfer could transfer but sit out a year. Right. Pri- See, we're in the middle of this transition. Prior to that. Or you could transfer down and play. That's right. That was the rule. And I don't know this to be factual, but just take it as the facts because I'm the expert here. I'm just talking trash. 
But imagine prior, <laughs> but imagine prior to us, where once you picked a school, you couldn't transfer and play right. ball anywhere else. So when that when our rule came in, you know what the people before them said? Man, they soft. They get a chance to transfer down and play right away. They get a transfer, had to sit out of year, but they still get to play. Back in my day, when we transferred, you couldn't even play ball no more. So we're just right. in the we're in a transition period, and we're living through it. See, when we grew up, that transition was already done, so we just grew up knowing that rule. Now we're living through the transition, so therefore, guess what it makes? It makes us confused because we now we're living in two two spe two spheres of the world, right? No, I ain't I ain't confused, Coach. I just I'm I'm just saying. You know, I see what's going on. I see what's taking place. Uh, and I was just, you know, the, the conversation was about Ja'Kerry Brown. I was just rooting for him to stay because he already said he was staying. He made a little boo-boo and get in the media and talk about their business. But that happens, man. You can't. Yeah, that's freedom not a of speech, Freedom of press. You know what I mean? You can't tell a man not to say what he want to say about what he's talking about. But you can't punish him for that either. If he a player, he a dog, he going to get it done, make a package for him and put him in the goddamn on game. God dang it. You see other coaches doing it. They doing it with white bread, green bean, collard green quarterbacks. We need to go on. We say talking about our dimensions. That boy, it's hard to tackle that boy. You seen against Rutgers, they couldn't do nothing with him. They went away from him. They, they spoon fed the man. I ain't gonna talk your head off. I know you're trying to get me off. Oh, let's I got to, dog. You know I love you, Mike. Man, we got a lot of callers on. They done hung up on me, but but it's a white bread, green bean. Damn, Mike could at least say it bye. We bad boy for life. Damn. Y'all be making me feel bad when y'all just hang up on old coach like that. You know what, Mike? Mother. <laughs> Calling here, hanging up. You call here, hang up on old coach. I ain't with it. All right. Real quick, Angel Serrano for the 49. Big dogs do what they want. Little dogs stay on the porch, just like E. Brown. Theta. <laughs> Dang, Angel, boy, I tell you. That's the ad lib king right there. All right, Muhammad. You say you got a lot to say. You dropped the dime. Let's ride. What's going on, Coach? Yeah, you know, I, I, I got a lot to say. I see everybody, you know, freaking out about Niger League and everybody's, uh, all the top players leaving the transfer portal. News flash. I've been saying this for a long time now on your show. Yes, sir. Good luck. Good luck building this roster top to bottom that you think that you're going to build like the last caller was talking about mm -hmm. camaraderie and staying for three, four years, bro. That died like seven years ago. Where in the world? It's 2024. Now you think these kids, there's no, they're on a year to year basis. Now kids transfer after committing a week later, like they jump in the transfer portal. Now that day and age died long time ago. Ask Nick Saban. So, no, that day, you can forget that little pipe dream of Mario building an entire roster top to bottom, all having three deep. Those days are long done, they're, buddy. They're done. You need, you, need to have, you need to have a solid, I would say, 30 to 40 guys, mm -hmm. 30 to 35 guys every year, and you need to coach those 30 to 35 guys every year to perfection. That's what I keep saying that it matters about coaching while everybody keeps on bloviating to me and just blowing me off saying, no, Muhammad, he's going to build a talent. No. He's going to build a talent. Okay. Build a talent. And the talent that's behind them, that bench is going to leave. So then where's your depth? Mm -hmm. I agree. I I'm with you. I'm with you, mom. Talk to him. So how does that work? So how does that work? So, so people think, so people think that Mario Cristobal is, uh, is unique. That mm -hmm. oh he's going to be able to keep seventy guys five and four star guys on the roster year in and year out they're not going to leave like they leave Nick Saban who won you know nineteen national championships the last twenty years he couldn't get kids to stay he can't no one can get kids to stay but Mario Crystal Ball can right that's what you're telling me fans and everybody in the chat and every all this oh Mario he's going to build a depth can, there's no more building depth. You can't build depth at Alabama or Georgia. You can't build depth at Miami, bro. Stop with the nonsense. Like this shit of, oh, you can't, you're going to, he's going to build so much talent. We're going to be so much better because the talent, no. You need coaching to actually learn and know how to coach too. Because those top guys, there's going to be a revolving door. 
year in and year out. Get used to it. This is the NFL and college football now. That's right. Listen, you're 100% right. 499 people. We won away from breaking 500. Come on, it's like the stock market. We're waiting for it. But in the meantime, Muhammad, you're right. Uh, e. Brown says Georgia's doing it. Georgia is doing it. It, uh, it, it looks that one, way. It, one, no, no, but hear me out. It, it's an yeah, illusion. It, but No, but it's an illusion. Because they have so much depth, they haven't depleted their depth yet through that transfer portal, tra you know, that transaction that's happening. In the next three Correct. or four years, it would have turned itself over. Alabama, Georgia, you see it. They have so much. The problem is, when they recruit, they do recruit at such a high level. When guys leave, you don't recognize the deficiency. That's the difference. Because they're winning, mm -hmm. and they were – because Georgia started winning and winning at the right time, they, they accumulated so much depth that when a guy does leave, you don't really notice it because they were the top of the mm -hmm. mountain – they were getting the, the elite of the elite players. So if I got two, three, four elite guys and one guy leaves, I don't notice it as much as if another guy leaves. You know what I'm saying? If if, if I got Correct. a one Correct. and two and my, my second guy that's supposed to come up to be elite, he leaves, it's an eye-opener. Because think about this. I'm going to prove a, a very simple point. Who was a guy that Miami and all of the fans wanted that's right here from South Florida. His initials is a B and his last initial is I. And everybody in Miami wanted that guy plays wide receiver. He's currently in a, uh, at a team up North. You're talking about, uh, uh, what's his name? Um, the one, the kid who plays for Ohio state you're talking about. Okay. Yeah. What's his name? Uh, Brandon Nivis. Brandon Ennis. We, yeah, haven't, yeah, we haven't heard anything about him in a year because they have so much depth at wide receiver. Right. It's just like Marvin Harrison. When he was a freshman, he was sitting there chilling, just waiting. These are the things I'm saying. So when one of those guys decide, and, and, and receivers have left from Ohio State. The problem is, yeah. it's so yeah. much depth there. Mm -hmm. That when that guy leaves, it's like you don't even miss it. You know what I'm saying? You don't yeah, even you really don't, miss you it. Didn't, you didn't miss you didn't miss Jameson Williams when he transferred to Alabama and still ended up being a first round draft pick. You don't you, you know what I mean? You like, didn't even miss it. I agree with you. Yeah, you didn't yeah, even I miss it. You. you didn't even miss because there was so much depth there. But for for the other uh, 132 teams, the other 127, 26 teams out there, it's very noticeable. So to your point, you're right. It's super, yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's what I mean. Like, okay, Georgia can do it. Ala I mean, Alabama can't even do it anymore. Nick Saban had to quit because of that. Mm -hmm. Oh, And Ohio State can do it in certain position groups. Certain schools may do it here and there. Congrats, but it's not a consistency year in and year out like you, like it was before where USC, LSU, uh, Florida, Florida State, Georgia, all these other teams would always have these stack rosters. It's not like that no more, and it's never going to go back to – what it once was. It's never going back to that. It's never going back. Yeah, they're so, trying to make this hey, the they're trying to make the exception a rule. They're trying to make the exception yeah. a rule. But go ahead, man. Talk to us, That's man. So I'm ready for you to get in because you say you got a lot to say. I'm gonna shut up and let you roll out. Appreciate the dono, the twenty dollar dono. I'm gonna let you roll. I got J Love T back here. I got three, four more callers. No, no. but I yeah, want to hear no, this. And, and 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 my and this is gonna lead to my point now, coach. This is where I wanted to go in. Mm -hmm. is so now so now that we understand that game planning because roster management is going to be in flux year in and year out so that means what that means your game planning and your coaching your team philosophy your team culture building is pivotal to game day success like it is because forget that having the most stock stock roster going up against somebody else and just demolishing them like you that's not going to happen with us, especially at Miami, because we can't even do it against Georgia Tech and, and, and other schools. So let's get that out of the way. So now that we understand that game planning and all that has to take at its, at its highest order, mm -hmm. how in God's name do we trust 
do, do we trust Mario Cristobal and this coaching staff to be able to get this team to 10, 10 wins? I don't know, man. I'm going to be honest with you, Coach. I want that as an expectation. I You're asking a lot of faith out of me to put into a guy I, I don't think very highly of when it comes to game day X's and O's. So, and now that I understand that now this X's and O's is just as important as it is in the NFL as it is now in college football because you can't have the rosters like you used to and build powers like you used to, I have, I seriously, I don't, man, it's, I seriously doubt ever seeing us win 10 games with this dude as our head ball coach because game days, he's going to blow, he's going to blow it. He's going to blow it. Like mm. on, and here's, the, and here's another fun fact that people want to, don't fail, I guess, fail to understand. The more talent you get and the more, the bigger games you, you're in. And that means, that means more pressurized situations for our coach who does what wonderful in pressurized situations. No, he does terrible. Matter of fact, he's done the worst ever that I've ever seen in pressurized situations that uh, he's worse than Manny Diaz in pressurized situations. Mm. Correct me if I'm wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. I have no comment. <laughs> no comment. I just need somebody to correct me if I'm wrong with facts, not with feelings. I need somebody to correct me with facts. So, so here's what I'll say, Muhammad. Chris. Here's what I'll say. Yeah. J Love T is saying in the chat he wants to get on the line with you. Uh, I don't know if that's something you want to do. You're more than welcome. Uh, I don't know Go if y'all, y'all, y'all want to battle. This is your no, show. No, no, yeah, but I, no, but show. I'm just saying I, I respect that, that you know because sometimes people just want to say their piece and move on. So that's why I would say that. Yeah. No. But here's what I, I will say. No, coach, I can get off. Yeah, no, I can get off. You know, I said what I wanted. To no, say. no, he wants to. He wants to talk. He, he wanted to talk to you. Okay. So that's what I was saying. But here's what I'm going to do. Okay. I okay. have one caller. Uh, actually, would have been after J Love. But if you don't mind, I like to take that caller first. Love J J Love. Get him on. That is my man T from Baltimore from BMO. Uh, I'm a, I'm gonna roast him up right quick because we got beef, and then I'm gonna let y'all two kind of talk it out and hash it out a little bit if y'all don't mind i'll go in that order guys after i talk to uh t from b more do me a favor go ahead and jump on 862-799-9956 uh for those that come on because we didn't break 500 we got the 499 and it dropped like like bitcoin it dropped off so i need y'all to tighten up now we have 491 i'm hurt so what i would like to do um i'm gonna talk to t- uh, terry from b more Please call in in that time frame right there. If not, I'll lock the line so uh, Muhammad and Jayla T can definitely talk a l- little bit. Why Muhammad hang up? Muhammad hung up. Oh, Lord. Terry from b what's up with you, man? What's going on, brother? Why Why your man run off? What's going on? I think don't, don't, don't go nowhere. No, he just called back. He just called back. I think he was clearing the line. Uh, he wanted to make sure because he oh, got okay. time to date. He said he got, t- he said. Because I'm going to keep it G real. I don't fuck with you because you disrespecting me. You disrespect my hood by telling me take off my flag, asking how gangster I was. You lucky on that day I was acting cool because I told you I ain't got time for that. But today I got time because. Today I got time because. He's ready. He's ready. <laughs> That's what's up. Talk to so, me, man. What's so up, man? The thing, right? So on this whole transfer pool right now, what people are missing is the coaches have kind of figured this thing out a little bit. All right. So NIL transfer portal all got real big around 2021. All right. So now here we is fast forward to to 2024. They got this cool little thing called NIL scholarships. I don't know if you heard about these, coach. Nah, you breaking so news right now to me. Hold up. That's breaking news. Hey. I need to hear this. Hey. Okay. So the NIL scholarships basically is how teams are going about building depth. If you look across oh all God. the college rosters around now, it's usually about a 110 to 115 tops, and they still need some guys to leave out. Most of these teams right now are hitting – around 120 to 125 as far as players that's on the roster. Okay. Why is that? Because they can afford them. They can they can afford that guy that's not a starter, but oh he's good enough God. for a depth piece. But if he goes somewhere to a, a lesser conference or something like that, he'll be the guy. 
So how do you keep him around? Because pay his college, pay his tuition, time. pay his tuition. There you go. There oh you go. my God! Listen, hold on, hold up, hold up, hold up. You're now. dropping a bomb on me. Hold Come on, on now. <laughs> Don Demarco, hold up now. Hold up, hold up, swole up, hold up, swole and, up. And, and you and you know how I know this. We ain't gotta go into that. <laughs> Go I know how you know. Yeah, I know how you know. know. But here, what here's what I no, I, I listen, I, I take you as a credible source. But let me rephrase it. Let me restate it so I make sure I clearly understand it. You're telling me that NIL quote unquote collectives are basically mm -hmm. giving collective money to lesser talented players. Basically, they're buying scholarships. Because they can treat yeah. them, they can treat them as a walk on, and the walk ons don't count towards your eighty five scholarships. That's how you build your depth. That's you got to be, that, you got to be more careful. You around. got, you got to be more careful. And tuition is probably way cheaper than a real nil yep. deal. So if I could use you sure as a, is. if I could use you as a quote unquote, I'm gonna say a preferred. Well, I can't use that because it actually exists. But a preferred a a monetary walk on. How about that? A monetary yeah. walk on. God dang, boy, you just dropped something on your boy. Hold on now. Hold up, swole up. I said, hold up. But I'm trying to process this. Damn, this is why loopholes exist. This is why lawyers get paid big bucks. They're telling me that Coach Hayes Collective could give T from Baltimore. I could pay your tuition. At the University of Miami, let's just say eighty thousand, which we know that's extremely mm -hmm. high. But say Florida State, Florida State, maybe twenty five thousand a year, maybe tuition, room right. board, and all that. Right. So I give I give four people twenty five each. That's a hundred thousand dollars. That's four more technically scholarship type players I would keep, but they're labeled as walk ons. God damn! And I just saw somebody say something. Hold up. Hold up now. A light bulb is going off in Coach Head. I just saw that they said Lou Cristobal would drop down to a walk-on because somebody in the chat was talking about the numbers. And they were saying Lou Cristobal would walk down to a walk-on. And I was like, oh, okay, I get it because, you know, his uncle's there. They could pay his tuition. No big deal. But damn it, that makes so – oh, my God, bro. So imagine if you can get – 85, that's 15, get you 100. If you could get 20 more scholarship players, 20 more scholarship players. Oh, my God, bro. That man. Thank you, boy. Thank you, my man. Yeah. Golly. Holy that's, smoke, that's, that's how they build in their depth now. They, these coaches are smart. They get paid millions of dollars to figure this out, man. And, the, and if you notice, more and more, even um, even Clemson, and you know how he, you, you know Jimbo. I mean, uh, 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 uh what, oh, Dabo, dumb dumb, over there at Clemson. You know how he feel about NIL, and he embracing it. I'm about to do a hey exercise in my thoughts video. I ain't had nothing to talk about. I be out of exercise. Don't look like it. Uh, but I'm going to excite my thoughts tonight on this one. But you don't woke up a demon in me right now. Boy, I'm ready. Woo-wee! The wheel's turning because you know how you how it can be used. Yes, and Lord. when we watch, even I, – I hate to talk about the, that, that team out there in Boulder, but when we watch them practice, we like, damn, like the talent drop-off is like so crazy. So how do you keep your 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 uh your talent sharp? Iron sharp and iron. Turn so up. yeah, this guy, like I said, he might not be a starter, but he's good enough to push your your ones and your twos, and he could damn near be a two. How you keep him? Yeah, Jalen Jalen BK said this is old news about NIOs being used. Well, my bad, dog. I must have missed it. Must have been on page three or something of the newspaper. But but this is but this is the first year that we're really seeing. It's not necessarily old in the sense of it being a thing. It's new in the sense that it's actually being executed and implemented across uh, college football. Everybody, yeah. the roster is usually not this full. Right. When you go, unfortunately, y'all can't go see y'all spring game. 
But if you could, hey, was that a you cheap shot? Like, was that a cheap a shot? A lot of players over there, bro. Was that a cheap <laughs> shot? <laughs> How many players we got on the ticket? Oh my god, man! Listen, you listen. You don't mess me up. I'm about to let Muhammad and J Love T go at it, and I'm finna go out there and start walking right now. By the time I get back, they might be finna. Cause God, dog, you don't mess me up. <laughs> I'm going to make a video about that. Well, go ahead, do your thing, coach. Hey, you know your boy always going to come through with the facts. Ooh. Nothing but the facts over here. That boy from BMO, man, with the facts. Real quick, man, what's the update on the bridge out there? Have you been hearing anything on the bridge and the, tearing it down? Did, uh, they find, did so you know if they found any more of the bodies? Right now, they still – no, they, yeah, they're working with the, uh, with the Fed right now. Like, the governor got involved, so they're trying to get enough money to um to build it back but it was a it was a long ass bridge it was almost two miles long so um they got all the bodies out they Mm. you know did all that all that jazz now you know the the litigation got to come through and who was their fault and so i ain't heard nothing about no payouts to nothing like that yet but um as far as the bridge being built back it's, it's, it's going to come but it was so many you know what i'm saying like jobs and stuff i think they said it was like eight thousand jobs over there on that other side of the bridge. Well, the reason Everybody I, I the well, the reason I, yeah, I would say the reason I brought it up was I wonder how people are, are are getting to the job back and forth. I know that was a main thoroughfare for people to get there, so I know they probably made, you know, concessions for them. But I just want to bring that up, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, man, rest in peace to those for folks sure. that lost their life on that bridge, man. That's tough. But uh, yeah, man, I appreciate it, man. You know, hey, you don't woke up a, a demon in me, boy. I'm finna go walk real fast. Y'all might see me running doing this doggone video. I'm so fired up. <laughs> You All right, need man. to go ahead and get one of them uh one of them collective um GA jobs or something over there if you can get that fat money. Come on, man. Look at that. I'm about to be an NIL coach. How about that? <laughs> that you go. Hey, you don't even have to pay me out of the doggone budget. Go to the collective and tell them to <laughs> exactly. pay. Exactly. Mm, that's tough. I love it, man. Appreciate you, dog. Let me get these, let me get these heavy hitters on the line, see what they're talking about. All right, brother. All right, thanks, man. The conference has been locked. All right, I just locked it, man. I got J Love T in the building. I got Muhammad in the building. I'm gonna bring J Love on first because you have a chance to kind of speak a little bit. Uh, Thomas Carter, why you try me, man? Tell me I'm not running, man. To me, I'm gonna run. <laughs> I'm gonna run to McDonald's. Oh, my bad. I mean, I'm really gonna drive, but you know, figure of speech like I'm gonna go run to McDonald's. That's my running. I'm just playing. Anyway, do do do. I'm here all week. Anyway. Uh, real quick, man, before I bring them on, man, I got J Love T. Let me get J Love T to get maybe get a chance to kind of do his little pregame speech here. J Love, what's up, man? Are you ready for this smoke? Listen, what's up, Coach Hayes? What's up, man? Good evening, brother. Good evening, man. You sound like you're hot. Are you hot? Listen, this hurricane fan base, man, every day y'all prove and contradict every single thing that us and Coach Hayes talk about. I'll never forget when the young man committed. Y'all said he was better than Shamar. He's younger than Shamar. He's more nimble. He's from Dillard. He's a beast. True story. Future All-American. True story. The minute he transferred, no, he's injury prone. True story. He can't wait. True story. Oh, my God. Y'all done did it again, Kings fans. And like I said, how, right? We make fun of Florida State for how they do things that we can't keep our guys. Now you see why I say when you recruit, recruit guys who can play today. 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 You see Bane? Give me 20 Bane. If you only can get five, then get five and run through the portal. It's not. We getting robbed with no ski mask. It's basically boot camp, Coach Hayes. It's boot camp, six month boot camp. You work out. You work out the Hurricanes with a free education. Get some practice film, and you go. So now, now, right? People say that, okay, Mario, you got to hold Mario to a high regard. So this does not prove that we got to win 10 games this year. First, I'll say we can't play the young guys because we got to win 
But when we want 10 wins, you say it's, too, it, 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 it's unrealistic. Make up your mind. Make up your mind. Hey, talk to, the, talk to me, man. All right, real what's, quick. What's this debacle that's going on? Real quick, I have to praise go, go ahead. You. I'm glad you called out the fan base because I'm a fan base caller outer. I don't even know that's a word. Fan base caller outer. I call them out quick. I can't stand people that bash the kids when they come here, right? Because Shamar Stewart, to your point, great, hey, great call, coach. Shamar Stewart decides to go to Texas A&M. We didn't need him anyway. He sucked. Najee Kelly, yeah, he better, he yeah, better than. Better. As soon as, as soon as Najee decided to jump in the portal, he sucked anyway. He always hurt. He did. He couldn't play. What did he contribute to the defense? What did, what did he do? Hey, you know what? Can't play him. Do, He's too young. Do me yeah. a favor. Do He's me a favor. Do me a favor, J Love. You right handed or left handed? Both. Okay, hold your left hand up, man, because you probably got the phone in your right hand. Got it up. I got it up. I need you to take it back behind your head just a little bit. Way back. Okay. Three, two, one. Swing that joker. Now, uh, give them one, dog. Let them know. Slap these fools. Slap these fools. All right. All right. We got that out of the way. So Muhammad just agreed with you on here. I thought it was gonna be some fireworks, but it looked like it might be a cooking show by the time we finish. I don't want to talk about Mario tonight. We know Mario's a bomb. No, Muhammad. I said I, I said Mario. I meant to say Muhammad. J Love, tell him Muhammad, who's on the line, and you said keep him on the line. He says J Love. This is Muhammad saying this on the comment section. J Love, tell him like it is, big bro, big facts. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm trying to be messy to start some ish. So I'll just say this. I want a battle. I want a battle. I said, hey, yo. Muhammad in the building. J-Love in the building. What's going on? Ding, ding. What's going on, J-Love? No, I agree 100% with what he's saying. I mean, it makes perfect <laughs> sense. Why would you, why would you? Why would you take a high school kid who isn't going to develop for three years and then in that year three, four, he's not even going to be on your team anyway? Like, what's the point? And that's on the evaluation, too. And you know how hypocrite the Hurricanes fans are? Oh, my God, you guys are so hypocrite. You guys talk about Manny, right? Oh, um, Manny can't recruit. Manny, Manny was going to lose everybody. He got Sarah. Look, look at Mario, the savior. He got Cyrus Moss. He got Najee Kelly. He saved the recruiting class. I, I agree. The conference has been unlocked. Well, I'm, I'm going to bring somebody in going to really get y'all fired up. Huh? <laughs> like the undertaker. But go ahead. I'm listening. Go ahead. I'm listening. I mean, another, I, thing too, another thing, too. Let me, let me say one more thing about Mohammed. You hurricane yeah. fans, especially on Twitter, you guys are fake. You know what I realized? I'm hot. No, I'm hot. He hot? You know what I realized? There's two things we're starting to do. We keep bringing up the 2001 hurricanes. I don't want to hear about them boys no more. I don't. Oh, I don't. I don't. Leave it alone. It was 27 years ago. 27 years ago. Back in the days I don't when I was them. young, I'm not a kid anymore. Yeah. But some days I sit and wish I was a kid again. And instead of holding Mario to a high standard, we're arguing with other fan bases. Let me ask you, Hurricane fans, what in the f makes you think you could talk trash to Florida State after Florida State mob thumped us in the past couple of years? Mm -hmm. What is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? We thought oh, they showing us the blueprint, but you want to tell them, well, all you guys do is develop the transfer portal. We can't even, we can't even develop the guys we got here. Barely. We're not getting yeah. enough out of them. What is wrong with you guys? I think that's the new thing now. Okay, you know what? We're not going to, 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 to not prove Coach Hayes right. We're going to ignore him. We're going to call him crazy, saying 10 wins. But we're going to argue with other fan bases like, like it's the year 2000, like we're winning 10 games. No, I agree. So those, the type of games we're, so those are the type of games we're playing? So those are the type of games we're playing? Oh, okay. All right. I agree. But I'm going to be in the game, though. Don't worry. I'm not I, agree. The game. I agree. I, I, I agree. swear to God. Yeah, I don't care. If Sam Ward. 
Yeah, I'm well, gonna go say, ahead. I was say at the at the game, I'm 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 gonna buy you a beer, man. I'm gonna buy you a beer. We'll talk about it. Listen, I don't want to hear nothing about Cam Ward suck. I don't want to hear nothing about the offensive line. I don't want to hear <laughs> nothing. If things don't go right, y'all better hold Mario accountable. And he ran through four quarterbacks. So if mm-hmm. Cam is not at least player of the year worthy in the ACC. I'm holding Mario accountable. Y'all not tricking me this year. No, no, no. And I'm going to say this again. I don't want to hear about the 2001 hurricane. I don't want to hear about the 2001 hurricane. Florida won a more recent national title. They don't even talk about Tim Tebow and them like that. What is wrong with y'all, man? Hmm. Hmm. I agree. I agree. Well, we're going to lose a 6'6", 260-pound Kid that can play in the tweeter, but we're gonna say he's injury prone. Hey, hey, J Lo. We, hey, we lost three veteran defensive ends, and nobody thinks something's wrong with. Nobody thinks it's wrong. Nobody. Y'all tripping, man. Okay. Y'all drinking Kool Aid. The only difference, y'all not. Y'all don't have faith on the fan base. That's All right, the only go, thing. Go, go ahead, Muhammad. Let's let's see if you're gonna throw some punches here. No, no, I was gonna say, you know, J Lo. You know, we've never won the ACC. But they want to argue with Florida State. Talk about, you can't build through the transfer portal. How? How? We won the ACC. That's like, that's like, that's, that's like Africa making fun of Americans because our, our lights are on 24-7. And they only have to, they only can live with lights for eight hours. How? Oh. <laughs> How, oh, Okay, real quick. <laughs> let, let me do this. I got, let me, real quick, I got some donos here. Uh, I got my man, Myrick. The U for the ten dollar. He said, "Let's go." I appreciate it. Also, I got Mike uh, Brunelli. I hope I said that correct. Ten dollars from the six oh three to the three oh five. Go Canes. That's all I can tell you. But I, here's what I know. I only know what I know. I only know what I know. Here's what I know. I don't know what y'all know. Oh, what, what's going on here? What in the blood clot? I don't want to hear about the 2001 hurricane. You hear it. Let it go. You hear it. You hear it. He has entered the building, y'all. He's entered the building. It's about to go down. Oh, my God. Who do we have in the building? Who do we have in the building? The grimudgeon. E. Brown in the building. Talk to us, E. Brown. Man, I know you finna start throwing some blows. What's up? Man, what the hell are we talking about right now? What are we talking about? Listen, if you don't, if you don't play, if you don't pay respect to the 2001 Miami Hurricanes or any previous Miami Hurricanes. 23 years ago. You, that was 23 you years ago. If, if you don't pay respect to the the teams the 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 teams that 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 put this 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 university on the map, then that that tells me a whole lot about you as a Miami Hurricanes fan. First of all, e. let me Brown. say that. Let me say e. Brown. that. I, I listen you to can, you. You can give you can give shout outs. You can give tributes. But that I, team, I, I listen, that I season. Let me finish. Let me finish. No, no, let me no, finish. No, no, let me no, finish. No, 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 I'm just I, I, I need to. It, it, Let me finish. Was, that team but I, but I, has been giving us an excuse to put our chest at other fan bases when we what haven't I done wanna, nothing ourselves. What I, I want to concentrate on what I want to case concentrate on now is what you guys talked about a little a little bit. You touched on it a little. Go bit. ahead. You touched on a little bit about the coaching staff. I've been talking all year about holding this coaching staff, holding this coaching staff accountable for the things that we've gone through in year number three. You got to do that. Listen, I understand your frustration. I understand your frustration. You're frustrated with this team, just like I am. You're frustrated. I understand that. Not frustrated but enough. But we can't, but we can't, we can't let our frustration delve into the, 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 the into delusion because I've got to pay respect 
I gotta pay respect to those 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 five national championship football teams in the University of Miami, and especially that one in two thousand and one. I mean, you're it's talking about years. you 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 you're talking about some historical things that took place with that team. I respect so, that. Let's, let's, let's I respect that. that. But, but, but to but use that line and to talk about them every summer, every we need an anniversary, like a high school reunion. Is a high school reunion every year? No. Oh, God. You come back 20, 30 years, you come back, you see how fresh we see how you go, the grandkids, and all. Every summer. Yeah, but I, 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 I totally believe I totally the Florida State, said. we bring up the 2001 National Championship. Like I That's said, I, 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 agree. I, I agree with you. In the Florida State thing, and the, you know, you're throwing it's the Florida State agree, thing. Brother. You're throwing the Florida State thing out there, but you know, Florida State tried to go through the draft through the uh, high school recruiting class period. They tried to go through that to try to build a team, but but Coach Norvell learned something. You know what he learned? He learned that, hey, that's not getting me anywhere. I, I got to get about five good players from high school, and then I got to go into the transfer pool and get about 10 good players so I can start winning to get back on the map. I mean that's 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 what, that's what we got to do. That's 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 what we got to do. We, 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 you start winning when you get six season players out of the transfer portal. You go in the transfer portal or the NIL. You got to get season players, six players who've been playing two to three years in the league. They have that experience. Oh, they so you're come in, come in and they do it. That's what you got to do. You got to get experience. And then once you get yeah, the experience, you, you, you build your team around it. It's like a pillow yeah. fight, y'all. I thought it was going to be some banging. This thing yeah. like a so pillow you're, fight. So you're, so Jesus Ebron, Christ, you're terrible. With us, so that's yeah, what you're I was agreeing saying. with us. Okay, yeah, good. You're agreeing okay. With us. Yeah, you're agreeing with us. So that's my point. I'm, I'm, agreeing, I'm agreeing with the coaching portion of it. I'm agreeing with the coaching portion of it. But I'll be doggone if I'm going to sit back and let him down. Where's Big Groove at when you need him? Where's Big no, Groove? I, 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 you know the 2001 season. I'm not worried. You know I'm not worried. I'm worried about this season and what the you know for this season. This is what I'm talking about for this season when it comes to game planning. You know the 2001 team, the 2001 team. I'm talking about for this year. And Muhammad, this year, no, 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 Muhammad. My thing, Muhammad, is I don't like it when we're saying we want 10 wins and we bring up the 2001 team. I mean, what does that have well, to do with we're that telling now, you, No, no, no. Listen, listen. I don't like it to where. We need to play Florida State on game day and get the W, but we talk shit and we get smacked. And then we come back and talk shit some more. That don't make no sense. That's not standing on business. Yeah, whoever's doing that business. is, you know, they, they drunk. Standing on business. They, they drunk, whoever's That's doing that, they drunk. Bro. Yeah. He's drunk. We got issues, right? We got issues, and we talk about issues like, 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 like a family, like what we need to do. Coach A say, Mario needs to win 10 games. Well, we won the chance. We had the greatest team of all time in 2001. What's that got to do with, with, with what? What's that got to do with it, man? That's all I'm saying. I want to stand on business today. I want people to hold Mario accountable today. I want things, I want things to get better today. That's all I'm saying. The comparison, the comparison to the 2001 team has many, many, many meanings, man. The 2001 team, you got to remember, we had a head, we had a head. One coach. of the worst things to happen to the University of Miami in the past 24 years. We had, we we had, had a head bigger coach. hurdles. We had a head coach in 2001 on that 2001 football team that had no freaking idea what it meant to be a head coach, but he he had players. He had he players. Was, yeah, he was he smart enough to win it though. He had he had guys to go. He had guys who go out there and practically just play on talent and win football games. That's mm -hmm. the comparison. That's why you're trying to bring that comparison into the day. You're talking about Mario. You're talking about Mario. What we're trying to turn trying to talk about is okay. We're not too much trying to rely on the coaching, but we need to talk about developing that talent so we can win football games. Correct. Is that what we're we trying to get to? We're just trying to Correct. win. That's all we're trying to do. I mean, we want to the hell up. The only thing is, so, the only so, so, thing Ebron, is. Let me ask you a question, Ebron. Let me ask you a yeah. question, Ebron. Because, I, because listen, man. You got to back up hey sooner or later, dog. Like, come on, be real, Ebron. I'm going to ask you a question. Keep it, keep it real. Don't look at the screen. Don't look at Coach A. Don't, don't be ashamed. 
trying, trying to prove a point to Coach A. Do you believe in this coaching staff? Don't look at the screen. Don't look at Coach A. Yes or no? <laughs> Of course, I believe. No, I, I didn't ask for a pause. Yes or oh, no? No, no, no. Ebra, e- Ebra, let me ask. Let me ask you. Let me They're ask no you. Business. Question. No, let Ebra answer let the question. No, no. Let me I, ask. You say you want to smoke. I'm ask. coming with smoke, Muhammad. Let Ebra answer the question. You're, you're, no, you're, no, you're no, giving I'm... him a question to answer the question. Do not look at the screen. Don't look at Cortez. Answer the question. Do you have this in this? You already took more than ten seconds to answer. So that already tells everybody what's going on. And I'm pretty sure deep down inside your heart, you hold him all your ten wins also. You just got to be the, 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 the kumbaya, the positive being. I don't have to be that. I could be the hater. Yes or no, Ebro? I, 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 I answered the question within, within seconds when you asked me the question. I said, yes, I had confidence in this coach. Yeah. Okay. I so you believe that. in the 10 wins? You believe in 10 wins? You believe it, yeah? I believe in winning the national championship. Mm-hmm. Okay, wins. good. That, that's all I need to know. National title. We say 10, you say national title. Good. Live on the show. Yo, hey, time stamp this for your boy, please. I will send it. Don't know about it. Ebron said national title or bust. Ebron. Thank you, Ebron. Ebron, I got, a, I got, a, Ebron, I got another question for you. Do you believe in Mario Cristobal in a, in a tight situation at the end of a ball game to make the right decision? No. I, I'm going you know, I'm I'm to trust I'm him to guard the bank. You 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 asked me or you ask you asked me that question. I asked you. I'm at yeah. I'm no, asking I was, you. I was yeah. saying. Oh, I'm okay. You, okay yeah. No, I I don't I don't. Seventy five percent of me wants to say yes, but that twenty five percent. That's beta. 25. That's beta right there. Hold up. I'm finna bring some folk to this, cause damn it, I'm about to go to sleep over here. It's like a pillow fight, dog, with a with a big goose down pillow. I thought it was gonna be some smoke up in here. Let's get some shots fired. That's Man, all. You see me, coach. I mean, coach, coach. It's not. I mean, it's not that. It's, it's hard. To you see me in your state. So- you ain't in North with them cars, squill. I walk through Carolina so much, I got Tar Heels. No, Let's get it on. Mario makes it easy, man. Like with his with his game day performance, he makes it. It's 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 almost like really hard to def- like people who defend his game day performance is is pretty pathetic. You know what I mean? Like how can you defend his? Well, his somebody got to lie. Just lie. That's what everybody else do. Just who lie. Can, who can who can who can defend who can defend that? Here's what I'm gonna say. Here's what I'm gonna say because I'm tired of hearing this poor violin music. He's a, Here's he's what I'm gonna say. Hold up. Let me tell you something, all my my Hulkamaniacs. Who just left? Oh, J. L- <laughs> hey, J. Love T got hit in the head. That boy said, "I gotta go right now, guys." But anyway, <laughs> hey, now that right there is Alpha. Whoever on the other side of that phone, man, that's Beta, man. That and no, beta, no, 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 no. Whoever, huh, no, whoever told him to get up on that phone is the Alpha. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Guess what? <laughs> Get up that dang phone talking man. about them dogs. Hey, hey E Brown. E Brown. She did like that. Huh? Get up that phone talking about them dang on hurricanes. Boy, get that phone off. Go and get in that bed. Yes, ma'am. Anyway, <laughs> here's what I'm gonna say. Catfish Gene, man. What's up with you, brother? This is for your four-year anniversary. I missed it, man. Thank you, man. Y'all clap it up, for Catfish Gene. <laughs> Real quick, I thought I was gonna have some fireworks. E Brown came in with the the the, the beta balling. You know what I'm saying? Here's well, what I'm gonna tell you. Well, I, I came I came on I came on to defend the history of the team. I mean, I can't yeah, def- that's I can't beta. Defend, that's I beta. Def- history means history means history means his story. No, I'm not, that man. means the story was yeah, written already. Worried. Right, I agree, coach. I'm not worried about the history. I'm worried about now, man. I'm worried about now, and from what I see now. And moving in now in this near future, what I've said is what it, what is it seems pretty factual. Team building, going three deep, building a roster three deep. Those days are all done now. You're not going to be able to do that because by the time you're, you're you, it's hard to go too deep now because the backup who wants to play and if he's on a bench is going to get into the transfer portal and go somewhere I else. I disagree with you, Muhammad. I disagree with you. How man. can you build, E Brown? How can you do that, man? There's like. A few programs with a few position groups that can say that. Oh yeah, definitely with their chest out. Yeah, we can go four or five deep. It's so hard. I mean, because look, 
if the guy's a backup now in most programs, he gets into the transfer portal and leaves somewhere else that's going to take him to be a starter or promises him things to be a starter, et cetera. It's so hard got, now. That's why coaches, got, that's got, why coaches are one, leaving. I got one word. I got one word that would, that will, will, will satisfy your, 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 uh, your, your curiosity there, Muhammad. One uh-huh. word. Win, man. Win and, and win freaking big, man. That's and, how, uh, and I, how you and I agree. Team on top of team. Win. And I agree. Georgia, and, and e. Brown. Georgia, Georgia's third string, third, third um, mm-hmm. string team, third team is good enough to compete to be number in, in one of the top 10 spots in the country right now. If right. You put that team on the football field. Right. And you know what? Right. Those teams stick around because they, they want to be associated with winning. Win, okay. Man. Win, win, okay. Win. That's okay. E Brown, E Brown, E Brown, E Brown. Name me five schools. Name me five. Five schools? I'm gonna name yeah, you. Yeah, name me five. Got, yeah. You got Alabama. You got Georgia. Nope. Nope. His players already leaving. Nope. 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 Alabama. His players. No, no, no. Left. That's no, no. I'm talking about. I'm done. talking about. I'm talking about. Oh, you're talking about. And I'm talking about now. Now, who can do? Who can build depth and keep players now? It's only Georgia. It's only Georgia or Michigan. That's it. That's it. Alabama, Alabama, Georgia. Alabama, nope. Alabama can't. Nope, 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 nope. Alabama can't. That's why Nick Saban retired because he said all his players were at his house telling his wife, what's my NIL deal and what's my playing time looking like? That's why I retired. Nope, you can't say Alabama. Nope, you can't say Alabama. You can't say Alabama. I, I, nope. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, no, I'm gonna say Alabama because it, no. It's, well, it's, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say no because Coach Saban proof said no, and that's why he retired. The proof is in Coach the pudding. Saban, that's why Nick Saban retired. Nick man, Saban Coach retired Saban, because he said Nick, it's Coach done. Saban is almost, Coach Saban is almost nope. eighty years old. You can't. Nope. Nope. Just, nope. Nope. Alabama. Alabama's backups. Hey, you know where? You know where our starting left guard came from? JV on Cohen. My viewership is dropping. Nope. Nope. The viewership nope, nope, is nope, dropping. Nope, 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 you can't say Alabama. I'm not. Nope, I'm you not, can't say Alabama. I'm not, this, I'm not saying, our starting, I'm not saying. our starting left guard, Javion Cohen, who's going to go get drafted in the NFL this year, what came from what school? Alabama. Nope, you Muhammad, cannot say Alabama. Muhammad, what I'm saying is, you're not going to, you're not going to keep all of your players in the line. But there was somebody who came in behind Cohen and filled in, and that team still won. Correct. They're still winning. That's what I want and to Nick feel. And Nick Saban right? eventually left and said, I'm done because I had enough of this because I'm not doing this no more. And if he said that because that's what it is to build depth, then, bro, forget about it. It's not going to – Nario, you think, you think after that knee incident, you think he's going to be able to build, build depth, go three deep and tell a kid, yeah, well, right. Well, yeah, so, right. so so here's what I'm gonna say. This is like a this so is like a. Nigelique, hold on, Coach Hayes. So Coach Hayes. So why did Nigel Leak stay then? So why isn't Nigel Leak staying then? Because he said he was gonna be told to be a backup. So why did he transfer then? Why? Why is he transferring? I really don't care because he's not exactly. He didn't exactly. To exactly. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. I mean, Thank you. Thank you for making my point. Thank you. Thank you. I, you I don't care. You know, I don't care. You made my I point. Mean, you made my point. Yeah. Thank you. You made my point. But you just made my point. Thank you. It's like it's like having it's like having tits on a bull, man. Tits ain't good on the nah, bull. Nah, it's really not. It's totally it's obvious, good on man. the cow. Not low kids. Kids nowadays with NIL deals and transfer portals, when they can just go get granted and don't have to wait no more, it's really not, bro. It's called reality now. It's, it's really not. You're thinking of 1950 NCAA football. This is now new age 2024 NFL slash NCAA football. These kids now are player empowered and everything like that. They will sit out a year of college football and enter the draft and still get drafted in the first round. This is a new day and age. I don't know where or what people are well, thinking, but this is not. This is not. This is not what you know, thought college know. football is. I don't know. I don't know what football team is offering Najib Kelly the NIL deal. I don't know who. who oh who's well, doing you'll that. see. He just entered the transfer portal. I guarantee you, he will. Well, I mean, I, I don't. I didn't do it. I know. I know. I know one thing that this kid who's quarterback at the University of Miami, the minute the minute he entered the, the transfer portal. Two hours after he entered the transport portal, there were there were top-notch teams looking for him. But who's looking for Nigel Leak? 
a defensive nope. end. You guarantee you he's gonna get a he's gonna get a spot somewhere. And the reason why he left is because he didn't want to be a backup. And, and that's and, what you're gonna and, get. And that's okay. what you're gonna get today. And that's exactly what you're gonna get today from ninety nine point nine percent of players. Oh, is God. if I'm not I starting, think, I'm leaving. All I right. think I think I think what we've done is I think that we've done is we'll be, we built a roost. We build a roost for these players to think that if I if I have a name or if I, if I practice well or if I did this well, if I go into the, into the portal, I'm going to get this big, huge NIL deal. And that's not happening. That's not what's happening. What's no, happening, but that's what a lot of them, that's what a lot what's of them happening is, is those players who have the name, like the kid who's quarterback for Miami or some of the quarterbacks who went into the transfer portal earlier this, early at the end of the season this, this, this year, those guys instantaneously were being were being uh, recruited by top notch teams and offering. And they were being offered top notch money. But guys, guys are under the impression that oh, okay, if I did the same thing, I'm going to go do it. But you got to prove yourself on the field, man. I mean, the man was here for three years, Mohammed. He was here for three years. I don't. I, he he didn't. Uh, he was here for two years. He was here for two years. Oh, yeah, we're right. Two years, and those kids, those kids. I, I think who who was it that came on and rattled off about the the, the players who left Miami here in the last two or three years? Okay, all right. All of those players who left in the last two or three years, they went to different programs. What what have you heard that's that's of significance that when they left and they went to another? Another team. Listen, 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 E. Brown, E. Brown. I agree with you. It doesn't always. I agree with you. But here's the thing: you're not understanding that that's not how an 18, 19, and 20 year old, 21 year old think. Okay, what they're going to be like is like, no, I'm going to go get my chance to go get my shot somewhere else if I'm not getting here because I don't care. That's their pro. That's the, like I don't know if how much more facts you need, like more evidence you need than the transfer portal is now to to for you to understand that kids are not waiting around for three, four years to get on the field at one program. I really don't know, like, look at, like, just, I really don't understand. Look at, look at the kids who are going to get drafted in the first round this year. Michael Penix, Bo Nix, they are not with the same team that they started with. It is not the same day and age that you're thinking, man. It's so yeah, far yeah. long gone. It's, not, it's I'm, so I'm not, far I'm long it. gone. It's I'm not so putting the long onus, Muhammad. I'm so not far putting long the onus. I'm not putting the onus on the kids, Muhammad. I, I don't know. I don't know. Understand? I don't understand why my point about coaching is not resonating. With but everybody. what I'm trying to tell I'm you is that it coaching, doesn't matter man. for these kids. A lot of these kids oh my God. look at playing time. A lot of kids look at playing time. They well, want playing got, time. They want. All right. You, Can, I Can I say this? Can I say this? Because it's been a lot of bloviating. Pontificating <laughs> and vacillating. If you're going to coach, if you're going to coach, if you're going to get into the coaching realm now, you got to learn to adjust, man. You got to adjust to the changes, ever the changes that are, that's happening. You got to do that. All right, I'm I'm done. All right, appreciate it. Listen, that was like, you know, how, uh, that was like a super cuts barbershop talk. That one like. Eddie B's barbershop. That was like a super cut. Muhammad brought it, man. Muhammad bring it now. He brings it. Muhammad yeah, but, but he it, brings it now. That was like a wrestling match in the hotel ballroom versus the WWE. I mean, there's team. really there's really nothing you can say against what I'm saying. It's really all fast. It's really all in sometimes, the just all sometimes you gotta just lie, Muhammad. To keep it in, we went from one. Listen, we were one person away from five hundred. We were at four hundred. I'm a big. Hold on, we're at. Hold on, we were at four ninety nine. We were at four ninety nine. I just needed one more person to break five hundred, and now we're at four thirty one. I just tell. I'm just telling you, coach. I know I'm bad for ratings, but I'm good at taking tests. You know what I mean? Like I, my mom. Raise me to be a thinking man. I don't know. It's hard for me to like look past certain things that just are glaring. You know, it's just. I play. I, I played the violin. Listen, I even played the violin 
I, I dedicate this violin to you guys. This was the worst. Uh, I, I just want to say I thank y'all. I appreciate y'all. Uh, I think the other seventy. <laughs> I, I, I think I, the other I, seventy. I, the <laughs> I, I, I think the other seventy people either fell asleep, dropped their phone in the toilet, <laughs> let the battery die, or just let Jesus take the wheel. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I thought I thought it was going to be some fireworks. I even played The Undertaker that got the show copyright. And uh, I appreciate it. I, I'm just saying. But on the honest note, let me give, hold on, let me I mean, give we, some, oh, oh, but I got to give some love right quick. Myrick to the you. I'm sorry. Myrick to the you. I'm sorry. I think I missed his. He said, let's go to you, baby, for $10. Also, Myrick, the you. The best part is the violin, no smoke. I appreciate it. And then Catfish Gene in there again for the 1999. They need some cane juice, coach. Make sure y'all watch me in the new Roadhouse movie with Conor McGregor and Jake Gyllenhaal. All right, man. When does it come out? Give us some details on the uh, Catfish. Let us know. I tell you, I got a homeboy do acting too, man. He be in some movies, man. Uh, I would call him Actor Man E. His name is Essex O'Brien. You like to pull them up on IMBD, IMDB or IMBD, IMDB, I think it is. Uh, that's my man, Essex O'Brien. He done quite a bit. He was just on the TV show. What's the TV show? The lady from The Wire. Anyway, it's a cop show, but he was just on it, man. So anyway, I appreciate that, man. Thank you, Kevin Eugene. But let us know where we can watch it, man. For real, for real, man. We always like to support those who support us. Um, but anyway, uh, what I will say to all of you all, it's 10 win a bus. I don't care about none of that other foolishness. Ten wins a buzz. Oh, Roadhouse is out right now. On what platforms? Is it in the movie? On Netflix? Amazon? Come on, you got to give us some more. Come on, you selling this thing. Catfish, help us out. We trying to go see it. <laughs> but anyway, um, I'm just saying, like, to me, it's ten wins a buzz. I hear what y'all saying. I don't, I don't understand the respect. I think everybody respects the 01 Kings. We're tired of comparing teams to the 01 canes that's the problem everybody that's i don't disrespectful. think yeah, yeah that's that's disrespectful comparing these teams to the 01 canes. yeah that's they're not even the same stratosphere right yeah but what we're saying is the problem is everybody want that old thing back and the problem you blow, is you blow me in. You, you no i'm not bloviating blow don't worry about it they're gonna be in the you chat blow. on you Oh, we got another caller. God, I thought I locked this thing. Okay, another dude just called up. 3290. Come to you. Give me a second. How you get the number? I ain't even got the number up. They must have the thing on speed dial. But anyway, Amazon Prime, y'all. You're going to yeah, check yeah. out Amazon Prime for Catfish Gene and Roll House. I'm going to check it out tonight. Uh, but what I'm going to say is, what I will say is I hear all that. But times are different. Times have changed. And I keep going back to this, and I'm going to be done with it. I'm going to get to 3290. We as a fan base, and I'm going to say majority because, again, nothing's all. I don't know why I got to keep saying it. I'm going to get a shirt that says this. I, and there are several shirts I'm going to make, and I'm going to stop. I'm thrilled. It's like I always got to – because the first thing I'll say, everybody don't think like that, coach. Ugh, whatever. We as a fan base collectively got what we wanted. We wanted – think about this. No previous coach before Mario Cristobal, let's be honest, in his past 20 something years ever said they wanted this, 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 or that coach. Maybe they say they wanted them after they, be, after they got on the short list, but I may be wrong. I never heard anybody saying we need to go after Al golden from temple. I never heard anybody saying we want Randy Shannon to be the coach. Cause remember he wasn't the first choice. Never heard anybody. I'm mean, correct me if I'm wrong. There is there's never been a coach in the fan base that said we need to go after that guy. Mark Rick. You said it about Mark Rick. They didn't say that. They didn't, they never said we need to take Mark Rick from Georgia. When he no, left, they, they they, went, once he left Georgia, they said it. But they never said we need to go get Mark Rick from Georgia. He's doing such a good job. Let's take him from Georgia. Never did they ever say that. Am I right or wrong? Uh, I, no, I, I, no. I, I, I don't. I don't think you. I don't think you had. I don't think you have a, a college football 
program that can do that for any coach. Yes, man. we do. We did it for Mario Cristobal. Ooh. When we let when we let Manny Diaz go, the first thing everybody said, we need to go get Crystal Ball from Oregon. The fact the fact is, hold on, Manny. I mean, did we or did we not, as a fan base, said we want Crystal Ball taken from Oregon? We never said but, take but, Mark but, Rick from Georgia. But the feelings was reciprocal. I mean, Matt, he wanted to come home anyway. Hold on, hear me out. <laughs> let me hold on. Let me finish my point. You're right. But we also asked for him. And guess what the University of Miami did? Gave him to us. Mario Cristobal, a part of his stipulations, from my understanding, was that X, Y, and Z had to be done. Put money into facilities, do this, do this, do that. The University of Miami said, okay. And that's what they did. He wanted to get paid this much money. They shot him $80 million. He said, I need money for facilities. They shot him money for facilities. He wanted to bring in these coaches. They paid those coaches. They need this. They did everything that we asked for as a fan base and what Mario Cristobal asked for, the university provided. Now, once he gets it, hold on, hold on, hear me out. No, 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 no. Hold on. Let me finish. Now that Mario Cristobal is on the scene, we're not winning because of culture. Mario Cristobal has now changed the culture. Would you agree or disagree with that, Muhammad and E. Brown? I agree with you. Okay. I Hold on. I don't even know who 3290 is. Hope you're on. 3290, talk to me. I know you've been listening. Yeah, what's happening, man? It's, <laughs> it's pressure, man. I just, All right, pressure. I just came on in. And... All right, hold tight for me. Pressure. I just don't want to leave you hanging like that. So now, yeah, would, yeah, you, would, yeah, would you agree or disagree, y'all? That we need to change the culture. Do you believe that the change that culture has changed for the better? Yes or no? Yes. Would yeah. you agree, Mohammed? Yes. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. yeah. Do you agree? The, the 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 fan base said we need to get more talent on on the, on our roster. Do you agree or disagree that we have more talent on our roster than previous years? As a collective, not one put, not yeah. one put. Not one particular yeah, I, position. I, 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 I hear some noise and I can't hear you. Which yeah, I just had to mute 32 okay. night. That boy sound like making some cereal. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I said yeah. I said yeah. Okay, you said yes. Would you agree with that, E. Brown, that we have more – We overall, we have more talent than we've had generally in the past 20 years? Um, I, I disagree at the moment because I think that the Mark, the Mark oh, Rick the, the, second year yeah, team – Yeah, the past year. Yeah, the past twenty years, the past twenty years, never mind. That twenty seventeen team was, I think, I think that, far that, that team far better. Yeah, yeah, yeah twenty seventeen, I think, was far better than what we've had here in all in in some years. Yeah, okay, twenty seventeen. Hold on, fine. Twenty seventeen. How much better is the 2017, 2017 team better than this year's team? A lot better, um, in my opinion. I I I I I, I say that the twenty seventeen team. The defensive line. The defensive no, 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 no. Defense. We're talking about the team. Don't give me breakdowns. I just want to know overall team, team. I got, I ain't got all day to bloviate with you. Seventeen better for me. Seventeen a lot better. Okay, what would you say, E. Brown? I, yeah, I say I say the twenty seventeen team was better, except for the quarterback position right now. Okay, but besides, how much better are we talking? A lot better, a little bit. Percentage? I don't care. Uh, I would, I would say a lot better. Okay, a lot better. Yeah, I, would say, I would say about ten percent better. Okay, ten percent, ten percent better. Cool. All right, perfect. No problem. I would say, I would say, I would say a lot better. I would okay, say a lot better. They no. had some, they had some, do- they had some dogs on that team. Okay, no problem. Yes, sir. All right, all right, no problem. We say we had to spend money in facilities, which y'all agree that money has been spent and facilities have been built. Or if not built, being built. Mm. Yeah. yeah well, I mean, yeah. Well, yeah. They, yeah. Supposedly, they have the infrastructure. They're they're putting it down or whatever like that. But yeah, they're supposedly in place. Yeah, for that new facility. So yeah, definitely. We have a nutrition table now. That was another thing somebody said. The kids don't eat right. We have a training table for the players. Right. Y'all agree with that? Okay. What yeah, else? Yeah. What else am I missing right now? I'm trying to figure out what else am I missing that the fan base overall said 
that we're that we needed in order to win? Uh honestly, from what I I mean, I oh hold on, I'm sorry, I forgot one. Well, do we have any more Manny Diaz players on this roster? Oh yeah, there you go. Yeah. Do we have any more? Do we? Uh, I mean, we have Zion Nelson technically on the team, but okay. he's not really playing. Okay. Other than that, any more? I don't think so. Mm-hmm. Right? I don't. No, I don't. I don't think. I don't Jacoby. Think Jacoby, Jacoby George. Sorry, Jacoby George is. Jacoby George is. Jacoby okay. is. Okay. So one guy. Would y'all agree or disagree that one guy is not? And to. and X's too. Sorry, so my bad. Yeah, okay, no problem. Think about X's, but would you? Is. But would you a guy? I would just yeah. say these handful of people. Would you agree that agree that yeah. these handful of people are not going to be the reason that things may not happen and we can blame Manny Diaz? I agree with that. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, I agree. All right. Outside of that, have I missed anything else that we complained as a, collectively as a fan base for why we are not successful? No, nope. the only that's about the it. only yeah. the only thing I can think the only thing I can think on my wish list is win, baby. Win. Okay, well that's where we're going. That's what I'm hearing. So with all that being said, out of 20 years, you said one team was better. E. Brown says 10. percent You said much better. I get it, but no other teams were better, and that 2017 was a 10 win team, correct? Yep. Yep. Why can't we win 10 with this team? For all the reasons people said we didn't win, and we now have those things that y'all just said we have, yeah. why we got the coach we wanted, we got the coach we asked for, we got the coach we wanted, mm-hmm. we paid him the money he asked for, we put in the conditions that he wanted in his contract, we are fulfilling those. Again, you can't build stuff overnight, but the stuff is being done. Recruiting budget is probably way bigger now. As you see, they all over the place getting players. Tell me why. It's rhetorical. I don't really need an answer. Tell me why we can't have 10 wins. You want me to go or E. Brown? Go ahead. Go ahead, Mar- Muhammad. Uh, it's, it's another obvious answer for me. It's uh, game day. But that's not what, but, but okay, Muhammad, I hear that because I know it's an easy answer. But this is the guy we wanted. He won 10 at Oregon. Mm-hmm. Hold on. He won, he won. Hold up. Let, let, hold up now. Hold up. Hold up now. Swole up. Hold up. <laughs> hold up. 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 Just want to make sure I don't make a mistake because, see, I love that argument. Oh, game day. Well, guess what? Mario Cristobal game day, his first year coaching, he was nine and four. Get out of here, Ad. His first year coaching, he was nine and four. His second year, he was 12 and two. His third year was a COVID year, he was four and three. And his last year, he was 10 and four. Out of his four seasons at, at, at Oregon, two of them were 10 win seasons. One was a nine win, mm-hmm. one was a nine win. One, one was a 12, four and three. I guess people call COVID or not, however you want to do it. I don't care. And then 10 and three. Yeah. Out of four seasons, he had two 10 win plus seasons. My question is on game day, he didn't seem to jack that up. I have an answer. I have a, I have a, I have a real good answer. Oh, I you. get it. I, 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 I'm going to beat you to it. I'm going to beat you to it. Because the uh-huh. Nike, the Nike check on the uniform at Oregon. Nope. Told no, him no, when no. to take a time no, out, no, no. and the no. Adidas uniform tell him when to take a knee. Okay, I'm listening. Uh, I'm nope. just being funny. No, 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 no. I, I can answer. I can answer that question for you. Uh, and it has nothing to do with Nike, Adidas, or Reebok or whatever. Um, coach, when Mario Crystal Ball was coaching at Oregon, college football was at a different time at a different age. I know you don't want to hear it, but he was able to go recruit three deep going against schools that couldn't recruit like the way he could recruit. And when college football, when parity started to level out and when your game day became more evident more than any time than any other time, your game day became 
on the forefront. You couldn't just walk out there and be like, yo, we got three deep and we're going to run all over you every single time. That's what he did at Oregon. He's trying to do that at Miami, but he's struggling because half the time his players are leaving in the transfer portal, he's not able to do it. So that's the thing. From when Mario was at Oregon to where he's at now, college football has drastically changed from that time. It's not the same day. He can't build the team the same way as he did at Oregon. He's struggling doing it now. I would go with that, and his but game, he, he has literally been going for four game day, And his game day now, and his game day now is brought to the forefront. And his game day, I didn't realize it. I never watched the game of Oregon. I only watched Miami football. So I didn't realize his game day was that terrible. I didn't realize that he was so reliant on being, on having such a heavy laden roster going up against a roster that had, was so uh, uh, talent deficient. I didn't realize that that's the way he won. That's the only way he won. I didn't realize that he wasn't a tactician on the game day field. Whereas now, and, and parity is like the NFL. So you need to have a coach that is a tactician on the sidelines, not just the recruiter. You have to have both now in college football. That's why college football coaches now are leaving to go to the NFL or to be assistant coaches because they're tired of it. They're like, there's no way I have to be a, a, an ace recruiter and be an ace on the game day field. So you may, and others may scoff and roll their eyes at what I'm saying, but that's the reality of it. Is college football is at a different day and age from when Mario Cristobal was at Oregon. Bro, he was just at Oregon two years ago. And college coach, college football, that was, he, he, he started here two years ago, so he was there, right. But college football in the last two to three years, you tell me, has it not changed drastically in the last two, three I years? I can agree with that. I can agree with that. But he has also had what he needed to keep up. See, now I would agree with that, Muhammad, if. But the he can't build the roster no, like but hear he me used out. to but hear me out. I would agree with that. No, but listen, I would agree with that if we didn't have a collective. If people weren't put, shelling out money to bring players here, no, I, I they're agree, cutting checks the now. They're the cutting transfer portal where I, I bro, they're the cutting checks. I can leave. I, yeah, but they're cutting checks. Miami is cutting checks. What I'm I saying, agree. Miami, meaning the collective. What I'm saying is they can't compete with the with the outside monies as well. Right. No, it's not. A, it's, all, it's, it's if a kid look at Nigel League. I'm sure it's not because he couldn't get a check here. He's leaving because he doesn't want to be a backup or be a rotational piece. That's what it is. We can't get kids to stay to be backups and that Mario can't do it either. He's having trouble with that now. But it's everybody's doing have, on our roster. Yeah, but on our roster, tell me who's not on our roster besides Florida State. Who's not doing that? On our roster, on our roster, right? I mean, not our roster, but our schedule, excuse me. On our schedule, you tell me who's not going through the same uh, uh, woes that we're going through with guys saying, I don't want to be a backup. I'm going to leave Florida. Exactly. That's definitely it, happening. I, I, so, so what I'm saying, right, the, no, but the, hold on, but the playing field is, but hold on, the playing field is level. It's just, I'm going to go back to my analogy. My point. Hold on, you're, but you're I'm going to go back. My point. I know I'm making a no, point. You're making my point. I know the playing field is level. So, what I'm saying is, it's not like we're going up against stacked folks. We're going up against right. people that's facing since, the same walls we're facing. Correct. Since the since the playing field is so leveled, is now your game day coaching now has to be that much better. You have to be better than the guy on the other sideline next to you, on, so, on the uh, 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 opposite side to you. You have to be better as a tactician, tradition, uh, doing strategy, better than the guy on the other side. And he's not. That's why we're struggling. It's well, because we gonna, he's not better well, we than most find of them out. on the other side. Well, listen. Well, I can agree and disagree. I can agree with that, but I can also disagree because I'm a. Here's my thing: as when I started this whole ten win minimum thing, it's because I believe in setting expectations. I believe now we got everything here, and I'm not saying you're this uh, against me, but everything that we wanted, we got. Now, guess what? We gonna have to eat it. We gonna have to eat it, yeah, Mama. No, I want are. Mama. We I want anchovies on my pizza. You sure, baby? Yeah, I want anchovy. And guess what? When I take that bite, I'm like, ugh. Guess what? My ass going to eat it. Because guess what? We want 10 no, wins. And, it then, and if it don't it get is. there, then guess what's going to happen? But guess what? Then now, see, my thing is this. If we don't hold an expectation, we will never have an expectation. 
See, that's the problem. I agree, yeah, I know you agree with I me, Mohammed. I know you do. I know you do. I agree with you. But I'm just saying, I, I think I just think that we have to, as a fan base, we should expect and demand more. We're paying you 80 mil, cuz, and that's coming out my popcorn oh, yeah. money. That's coming out my I popcorn agree. money. I, 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 I expect you to know. I told you this a long time ago. I expect you to know, buddy, that the game clock when every between every play, if it's not a turnover, it's 40 seconds. How did you blow that? I expect you gotta know. How do you what? You don't do you don't call plays on offense nor defense. So that means you don't really strategize. How do you blow game day management? What? You're getting paid to do what? No. I Listen, I'm not somebody who's aloof and who's dumb. I can't fail to see what I see. And what I see is a guy who has does nothing on game day. He is not a strategy. He is not a, a he, he can't game day. He has no sense of knowing what an offense is or how to run a defense. So that 10 win expectation, I love it. I love it, coach. But is he the guy to, to, to get? I hope he just lets his coordinators coach. I hope he lets his coordinators do the coaching and he just sits there like a figurehead. Because his game day up smart, up top, is going to fail this program. It has it not the first two years. Look at it. That's what my that's my that's my point. You were making my point. Is the parity now is like the NFL. There's so many good teams now. There's so many good players now because the influx of talent moving from team to team is that you have to have a guy on your sideline who is in the, not only an ace. On re- and, and recruiting and, and, and getting, you know, building money and dollars and getting funds to your, your program, but also an ace when it comes to being a game day coach, strategizing and everything. And he is an F plus coach when it comes to game day management and strategy. So, mm-hmm. you know, that's what we have to work with. You know, like you said, we got to eat it. He's here for a long time. He ain't going nowhere. Um, so I don't know how you tell me you're a coach. I don't know how he can get better at either or over or over a period of time or if he's even working on it or if he even wants to get better at it. Who knows? I don't even know. Ten um, wins, so baby. We'll see, I guess. Ten, ten wins. Listen, here's what I'm going to do. Let, let, let me get pressure in right quick. Coach got to wrap this up. Pressure, man, you finished making that cereal, man? Yeah, man. Okay. <laughs> well, 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 talk to us real quick, man. I know you've been back there hanging out. But I ain't gonna lie, boy. Coach burning up right now. I gotta go get on this walk, man. Talk to me, man. Yeah, I just just want to chime in a little bit, man, on the spring game, really, man. You going? Nah, you know I ain't gonna do none of that. I'm gonna watch it though. Okay. I ain't met nobody yet that got a ticket. I don't know. I not one person I know got a ticket that's going. <laughs> We didn't really go to it though when it was open for the public either though. It wasn't like it was two I did. million people out there. It don't matter. I did. Like I said, don't punish me because other people didn't go. I got. Yeah. A, I used to drive from nah, here right. and that. Yeah, don't punish me because I was there. But anyway, talk to me, man. What's your, what's up? Uh, I I just want to I just want to chime in on, on thanks, on, Muhammad on on, on on the night. On the Nigel Lee Kelly situation, what's your thoughts on that, man? Why you think he left us? Well, you about three hours late, boy. <laughs> We've been talking about that three hours. We've been talking about that for three hours, Preston. So I don't know where you've been. But listen, real quick, man. Uh, like I said, I was shocked. I'll just say this for you real quick, man. I was shocked that he left. Um, Because he just wasn't, for me, Um, yeah, I know we had brought some guys in, but I was a little shocked that he left. Um. I understand. I can understand why, but I was shocked. I just put it in a nutshell right there for you. But um, I wasn't. I wasn't. I wasn't shocked. I wasn't shocked at all that he left. It wasn't a shock to me. I mean, as a matter of fact, it's a it's a moot point to me. I mean, it's re- it really is. It's a moot point. I mean, why he left? You know, you, you think you think that's addition by subtraction? No. Uh, yeah, exactly. No. No. I don't. Exactly. Well, Muhammad, you must, you must real quick, Muhammad for the four ninety nine. Thank you. Say I got off. Have a great night, Muhammad. Thank you, man. Always much love. You know we just be on here having fun, busting each other chops. Thank you so much. Yeah. Go yeah, ahead. That's that cereal. You must you ate. Must have been some Cheerios with oats in it. But boy, you just said that. You just said the key word just now. That was the key thing. Yeah. Say it one more time. One more know, time. Ain't no dog on the dish. No man. Yes, no that's, man. That's Cheerios right there, dog. That Cheerios. 
No, addition by yeah, subtraction yeah. happens. No, addition by subtraction normally takes place when a guy is poisoning your program. That's when you want to add by subtracting. You don't, you, I get where y'all coming from. Usually addition, addition, uh, addition by subtraction comes when guys are problematic in the locker room. They out here doing stuff. So you know what? We finna add to our team by getting rid of this guy. I don't think they added was, to their team by he getting poison. He was poison to the team coach. The How was he poison? He did not want to play. He did not want to from play. a performance, from a performance standpoint, coach. He did not want to play. What do you mean from a performance? He, he was teaching the other kids that hey, if I hurt my fingernail, to sit out. He was teaching them that. What was his injury? What was this his injury? Football. Do you know? Do you know his injury? This is football. What was his injury? E. Brown, what was his injury? His injury, his, his injury, his injury was a was a lower extremity injury. But what was it? I'm asking, what was it? Was it was was it wasn't it his 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 calf or his shin? I don't his know. I don't know. So how are you gonna say what injury is why he don't want to play? And you don't even know what injury it is. No, I ain't gonna let you ride with that, E. Brown. I gotta I gotta bust you up a little bit on that one now. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta school me on it because I know, don't know. When, when, but how you, you gonna know? say a kid don't want to play because he hurt a fingernail? Because you, because you, you are competing. It, it, it. You are competing for a position. You are competing to make some money. You're competing to get your, have your draft stock increased. You're competing. You got to show him competitiveness. You can't have. You can't, you can't, you can't, you can't tell him, oh baby, that's okay. Just go ahead and transfer and and go to and go to uh, Cal, take Polly, and go over and play football. Nigel Lee Kelly, Cal, listen, that, because yeah. because Crystal Ball is so tight with injuries. Nigel Lee Kelly was out for the rest of the season. They said his knee injury was a little bit more significant than Mesador's injury, and Mesador was out. Mesador missed several games, so we're talking about a knee, bro. We're talking about a knee, and you talking about he. We ain't talking about the man broke his pinky toe. This man, Mesador, Mesador is another guy that we are relying on who hasn't done a darn thing. He nah, he done. Play. He done. Nah, he not. Nah, he done played ball. Mesador played ball. I, I, you know, when 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 he when he was on, we the wouldn't field, have seen Ruben. We, we wouldn't have seen Ruben. No, do me a favor. Do me a favor. Ruben. No, do me a favor. Ruben. He's the exception. Stop. Don't do that, dog. Stop with the exception. Stop with the exception. That's the exception. Ruben might go be no freshman All American if Messador don't go down. Okay. So here's what I'm going to say E. Brown, who do you think on the defensive line? Is besides Reuben Bain, in your opinion, E. Brown is a is 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 a significant player on our team. Who do you think? Uh, that you know what I got to be honest with you. See? I don't think there's. I don't. I don't think there's anybody. Come on, D. E. Brown. Hey, come on, bro. Come. On. So if all of the D. linemen transfer besides Reuben Bain, you okay with that? <laughs> no, I mean you asked me. You asked me who besides Ruben Bain on the on the defense is, is is of significance. You guys tell me who who on who who on the defensive line you guys think. No, don't flip. No, 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 no. Don't flip this. You calling these people scrub? I want to know who do you like. You know, here's a perfect example. I'm gonna give you. You know, I'm analogy king. I pick out you looking for a date, Nurse Betty. We just playing. This is an example. We're looking for a date. And I'm like, hey, she's a nice. Now, nah, like, uh, yeah. well, how about her? Now nah, her hair too short. Well, what about her? Yeah, she's too skinny. Well, what about her? Nah, she too. Well, damn, E. Brown, who do you like? And you come back and be like, well, I don't know. You pick somebody for me. But damn, I've been trying. So you tell me who you like. I, I, I told you. I don't think there's anybody. I, 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 didn't I say that? I, I thought I said that. No, you did, but I'm saying I so you I, so you're saying there is no you're telling me that Miami Hurricane defensive line has no good players. 
Besides, besides, besides think, Ruben I Bain. Think, I don't think that they're after Ruben Bain. I don't think there's anybody of significance that will make me go, "Ooh, man, that we 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 need to look out for this guy and that guy." Besides, I don't, I don't, I don't. That's why I asked you. You guys tell me because I said I don't think we have any. Listen, I got it. Muhammad for the 49. I appreciate it. Coach, my call has some people in the chat. Feelings hurt. All I got to say is we preach two hands on the ball. Damn. <laughs> Muhammad, boy, that's a that's a good blow right there. Boy. That, that's a little funny. 428 in the building. Hey, make sure you hit the like, share, subscribe button. We appreciate y'all. We've been on here three hours and 20 minutes. And Coach, uh, uh, I said I was going to be here two and a half hours. But, you know, I always lie to y'all, and I love y'all. And we're going to always have fun. Uh but well, but well, I don't know. Well, Chris. well, 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 well the both, but the both of you guys haven't told me yet. Who besides Ruben Bain makes you guys go, "Ooh, okay." Nobody. Tell me who. Nobody. Thank you. Nobody. Thank you. So when I when I made that statement, I, I heard a man, Ebron, you crazy? No, I'm serious. Okay, I, who, who on this who, team makes you excited? The only. The, the guy who the, the person who's making me excited right now is Mary Go, Gore, the, the middle linebacker. I'm okay. excited about him. I'm excited about the, the quarterback. I haven't seen him. I haven't seen him perform at University of Miami, but I'm excited about his, his play. Okay, I'm ex, I'm excited about this kid that I'm hearing a lot of talk about. He may be a running back. He may be a t- tight end. He may be this, he may, he may be that. It reminds me of the, the times when Duke Johnson came into the University of Miami, how the chatter was coming out about, man, that Duke Johnson, he's doing that, and he's doing that. And then when he got out there on that Saturday as a freshman, he proved his point. But other, other than that, I, I, I don't, I, I, I got to be, I got to be frank with you. I don't, I don't. I don't, I don't, I don't hear it. I don't see. So it. there's only two people, three people that you said: Ruben Bain, Kiko Marinoa, and Elijah Lofton, and the quarterback four. Lofton, nothing in yeah. the quarterback. Elijah Lofton in the quarterback four. So out of the twenty-two that's, start, that's, out of twenty-two potential starters, you only said four. That's what, and then, and then, and then for my, and then for my, uh, out of out of nowhere, it might be, might be something significant or not. Is the kid, the running back, who's been hurt for the last two or three years? What's his name? Um, Trevante uh, Citizen. Citizen. Citizen has he has my interest. Okay, he has my he 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 showed he the, the the looking at him from a size standpoint and from the standpoint of him of him wanting to get back out on the field and play some football and and, and what have you. I'm a little. I'm, I'm my my interest is going towards him. That kid, that kid. That's where my interest is going towards. I'm already. I'm already. I'm already secure about the other big running back that's hurt. That's that's out of out of practice. Mark uh, Fletcher, the kid that played last year, Fletcher. I'm already there with Fletcher. But you know what? My 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 mind is going to that kid Robinson. I want to see what Robinson is going to do when Robinson has the opportunity to get with the team and practice with the team at wide receiver. We got the okay. quarterback. We got the quarterback. We got oh, you're talking about back. he's at St. Thomas, though. Okay, yeah, yeah. He can't come into the yeah, summer. Chase right, Robinson. Robinson. Yeah, he can't come in yet. Okay. We got the quarterback. I used to work with his dad, by the way. I used to work with his dad and his mom. But and, and, and I, I got his court. I got the quarterback. We got the running back. We got the, the Lofton, the kid, the tight end. We got all we need now is that significant wide receiver on offense, and I think that we'll be fine. On defense, we have Ruben Bain and Marigold. Mary Goa. I don't know about anybody else. That's my concern. It's defense. I don't know about anybody else. Unbelievable. That's why. So here's what I'm gonna say. That's why. I don't. Yeah, but here's here's what I'll say. Pressure. I know you've been waiting for a while, but I gotta let you get uh, coach burning down right now. I ain't gonna lie to you. Four twenty six. Y'all been hanging hard with your boy, man. Tonight it's twelve. Yeah, it man, is, go, it's, go, it's, go, it's go, literally. Go, it's, go, nah, I can't. Go. I ain't gonna lie. I, I can't even walk today. Y'all don't depress me so bad. I'm finna go walk to the bed and just lay down. <laughs> and when I wake up, it'll be a new day because y'all done depressed me. I'm so depressed. 
I can't even get excited about the NIL scholarships. Shoot. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't i don't listen i don't i don't i don't believe in buying players i don't believe in buying players to to come in and and, and expect them to give you a winning oh, product god okay oh i don't i don't i don't i don't i don't i don't buy into that stuff i mean you know hey listen it that may be that may be the, that may be the wave or the trend that that's that's supposedly going in that direction but I'm not buying it. You know, I'm not no train. It's a way of life. Ain't nobody messing with you. Uh, uh, I mean, that's that's what I just I just uh, just said. It's a trend. The trend is going in that that's direction. Right? I'm, I'm just not going to buy into it. Forgive me for not buying into it, but I'm not going to buy into it. E. Brown, I'm not messing with you, man. I'm not, I'm not doing it. <laughs> really I'm not. I'm not, not going to buy into that one. I just I want to I want to see well, what what I want to see is, is the. the those are the key points on, a, on your football team. You got to have a quarterback. You got to have a wide receiver. You got to have a tight end. You got to have a running back. You got to have a middle linebacker. And you got to have at least two dominant defensive linemen. And I think that, that will, that's what you need in order to build your football team. Okay. Do we have that right now? That's the question. Do we have yeah. that right now? E. Brown. University of Miami. E. Brown. Yeah, 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 we got it. I'm about to get up out of here, man. Y'all killing me, man. G Greg Bush, what's up with you? Say good night, Tommy. Greg, man, how you doing, brother? I ain't seen you in a while, man. <laughs> Shana Boo, I'm listening to you right now. She said, Coach, in the live right now. Listen, E. Brown, Shana Boo, you a member too. You be in the when you get listen, Shana Boo. I know you don't talk much in the in the in the in the in the, in the locker room, but you be in there. When you get on there. I want you to give E. Brown all he can handle. Cause we going in the locker room. Somebody might be throwing some chairs in the locker room. That's all I'm saying. Shana Boo. Shana Boo's brother is, is Man, one of those you, wide receivers. You, her, her brother is one of those wide receivers who we're going to have to depend on this year. Her brother is one of them. <laughs> he going to uh, – man, listen. Listen, E. Brown, you about to make me curse. And it's, two, it's Wednesday. Today, Wednesday or Thursday? I can't even remember what day it is. But that dog gonna eat brown, boy. Listen, we finna end this for I'm finna end it now. Ham hey, said, where are these callers from? Man, they AI. These AI callers. I couldn't afford a real phone line. So what I did was I got uh chat GPT uh to answer the call for me so we could feel like we talking to somebody. That, that these not real people. This is not a real person. E Brown, not a real person. No, I'm, I'm, I'm just messing with no, you. I'm, I'm, I'm cool. not a real. I'm not. I'm not a real person. I'm an illusion. I'm. I'm. Not, I'm an illusion. But I'm not. A, I'm not a delusional illusionist. I'm not a delusional illusionist. I hear you, man. Wow. Well, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm burnt. I ain't gonna lie to you guys. <laughs> I love y'all like the day is long. We've been on here since eight thirty-five. It is twelve oh five. Three hours and twenty-seven. Minutes. When we come back, man. And when I wake up from this uh, nightmare that I just listened to. I'll come back when we get back on, man, or something like that. Bro. I appreciate it, man. President, man, thank you for calling, man. But with all that being said, listen, yeah, as man. always. Hey, good, oh, night, good night, gentlemen. All good right, night, man. Gentlemen. Good yeah, night, yeah, guys. Man. For sure. Appreciate it. Yeah. All right. One love. Appreciate it. Real quick, man. As all you guys know, thank y'all so much for all the support, the donations. I'm in. Look at this. Goodbye. She just said it. So. I just want to say thank you guys for always tuning in, man, here on Wednesday, starting at 8.30-ish. Make sure you check us out, too, on Hayes uh, Street with me and uh, D Streeter, man. And we have some other stuff going on. We got a lot going on. But, man, y'all been hanging hard with Coach, man. 400, over 400 people been hanging out all night tonight, man, for, you know, just on average. And that's big right there. That's big, especially on the, during this downtime. If you are a member, we're going to have uh, some viewership. I just have to leave it like that, hopefully for the uh, spring game. I'm going to try to see if I can give E12. We could do a pre-spring game. We'll have some champagne room stuff for this game and then a post-spring game, kind of like we do during the season. So with all that being said, I appreciate y'all. Much love to everybody. As always, go Canes. And for everybody who donated, thank you so much because it definitely helps this channel grow. And we'll catch you at the 50-yard line. Make sure y'all check out those WREs too, man. Coach working hard on them, man. God, I just put one out. I know he ain't a Kane, but just go watch. Just put it on play. 
go cook something and come back. Just let it play. Do me, just do me that favor. It's free. Just click on there, press play, go change some diapers, go put some in the microwave, go take a bath, whatever. And then when you come back, it'll be over with. But coach need that love. Much love to y'all. Peace. Man, these people out here crazy. They think I ain't finna sit up here and around here with this foolishness talking about some god dang on. We ain't got no player. Man, E. Brown, man, I'm about to slap this dude silly, man. This man right here. Ain't wrong with him. Matter of fact, crank up my violin. That's for all them haters out there, man. World's smallest violin. Get that out of here, man. Peace.